everybody. Have you heard about the Trumpy Peasants Patreon? It helps support the show while getting you some cool perks. Check it out! For $1 per month, you get to use our exclusive fan chat that appears at the bottom of the screen on every episode. For $5 per month, you get two new private shows, including Actual Mania, as well as our back catalog of private shows, plus all lower tier perks. For $10 per month, you get all of our monthly video content. This includes multiple post shows, our monthly reviews, our back catalog of all that content, plus all lower tier perks. For $15 per month, your name will appear in the ending credits of each DP episode, plus all lower tier perks. For $25 per month, you get to take part in our monthly booking committee hangout to help us book our Patreon content for that month, plus all lower tier perks. For $33 per month, you get an exclusive piece of DP merch each month, plus all lower tier perks. For $50 per month, you appear in the opening credits for each DP episode, plus all lower tier perks. For $100 per month, you get to join us as a guest on an episode of the Drunken Peasants Podcast, plus, you guessed it, all lower tier perks. Visit patreon.com slash dp now to become a patron of the Drunken Peasants Podcast. In the beginning, there was nothing. Drunken Peasants Podcast. I gotta get away with this. No! Say, man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on you, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes I cry. Oh! Miss my butthole, he laughed. <laughs> the strangest corners of the internet here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective here are your hosts the drunken peasants. hello everybody welcome to the drunken peasants podcast this is episode 1316 doing it, doing it live once again 1316 we're back again on a special saturday bonus show i got some good news for everyone Ooh. uh a few announcements that are very good. First Ooh. of all, yesterday I did a solo stream and we crushed this week's goal. So what you see up there is actually the beginning of next week's goal. So if you want to help us get a little closer to next week's goal, feel free to send it along. We're not going to mention it that much, but we will react to it. If you send anything in, we'll react to it. And uh, it can't hurt. So if you feel how like doing it... How how did you get so close? Did you post Toll? <laughs> yes, yes. You, you, you toll House toll. Cookies, that is. Oh. Yeah. Posted, posted Toll. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah, got you got to pay the toll if you're going to see the poll. <laughs> ben, are you a big fan of uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000? Yeah, and I noticed that they do like a 24-hour YouTube stream where they just stream episodes 24-7. And on and on Twitch and and whatnot too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I've been uh, I've been watching that on uh, Twitch early in the mornings, and uh, well, because I wake up like br- just stupidly fucking early. Yeah. And uh, so we were doing the uh, the the pre-show, which everybody should be be going and following on your favorite podcast platform. Thank you. Um, but like it, we're we're chatting it up right before the show, and you're like, yeah, blah blah blah, and then it's time for the show, and then boom, like we go. And I got that like that reminiscent like we've got movie sign yep. we got in the not too strange. distant future. I I've gone back and it's watched so every version of that theme song going all the way back to the public access days. It's yeah, pretty cool yeah. to watch it evolve. Um, it's super. I want to let everyone know that back in October, Jeff and I we spent a few days in Portland. We went to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. We got yep. really drunk. We uh, we saw uh, the Angry Video Game Nerd in person. We saw we we played a bunch of video games. We ran into some fans. We did all kinds of stuff. I I screamed at a woman at a bar in a bar. Uh, yes, we you- so we captured most of it on video. Jeff stole a pumpkin. Yeah. So that video is finally available on Patreon. So I'm I'm granting early access to $25 plus patrons for the next week. And then the week after, it'll be available for $10 patrons and above. So, so I, I, if I you're, just it, watched it. Oh, did you I like just, it? Yeah, I just watched it today. And I will say um, uh, it's very long. Uh, there's a lot three of three and a half hours. Yeah, there's a lot of content in it. And if you've ever wanted to see 
first me and then Ben be so belligerently drunk we completely make asses out of ourselves this is the stream for you because holy fucking shit man yeah it's- yeah it's it's available right now for 25 dollar plus patrons uh if you want to check out a preview of it you can catch it like a 30 second preview of it if you click the link that i just posted in the chat i'll put it in the description too because i realize people are going to watch this after the fact so it's going to be I'm going to make it the thing right below, like, the Join Ben and Jeff for episode 1316. I'm going to post the link directly to it right there, so it's there, too. So go check it out. Um, If you're a $25 plus patron, you can watch it right now. Well, I would hope you watch it after the show, but you you get to decide. Wait wait until you you watch this whole episode and then watch it. You know what I think is really funny about that that whole thing, though, is that so... Uh, for you, for you to go like balls to the fucking wall, took somebody being really rude to you at a bar. But for me, there's, there's a whole live stream where, uh, you're just like basically put the camera on me and I'm fucking wasted, just running my mouth. And all you had to do is be like, Hey Jeff, what do you think about Jeff Gary Eppie? And then just put the camera on. And like an hour and a half later, I finally run out of steam and just roll over. And that like, was go. the best. Part. That was right after the rumors about, you know, JF. Yeah. 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 Yep. yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, well, yeah. rumors, the fact that he killed his wife and buried her in the, in the forest, but whatever. We don't know. We don't. Allegedly, allegedly. Everyone, I please do. like the stream. And if you want to check out the video, you can bookmark that link later. Uh, it's also mm-hmm. down in the description down below. Um, so in a minute here, we're going to get into the first segment. I do want to shout out to Bite Size Cobra because he puts out pretty amazing long form documentaries um and they're they're pretty amazing and we're going to watch the one that he put out earlier today it's ugh, it's chef's kiss because one of the best things ever one of the best ways to troll somebody online is to create Look, recreate their persona and act like you're the real one, kind of like Liquid Chris did with Chris Chan. Right, 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 right. And King Cobra had one had a had a Liquid Cobra at one oh. point. I don't think I've ever seen this. To be honest, yeah, this is kind of early. This is like early on in the King Cobra has his own apartment saga. Mm, yeah, okay. yeah. All right. I'm willing to learn. I'll sit down and learn some shit. That's fine. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna check it out right now. Here we go. Somewhere in the world today, men have got to stand up strong. All right, here it is. So this is this is some old school lore. This is part seven of Bite Size Cobra's multi-part documentary on on the Cobra lore. So right. he started at the very beginning and has built up to this part right here. You gotta you gotta you gotta respect the dedication, you know. I do, absolutely. Yeah. Also, please like the stream if you would be so kind to do so. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, God. Is that fun size Felicia? Did she have oh, horrifying oh. eyes like that? <laughs> I do like the horrifying intro.
After deleting all of his videos in early February, Josh went straight back to uploading the same content as before The Purge. Doing vocal covers and having trouble with Photo Booth, his video recording software. Yeah, he used to use this video recording software called Photo Booth. Okay. Hold on a second. Really, Photo Booth? You're really gonna freeze up on me again? Come on, Photo Booth, unfreeze. <laughs> unfreeze, Photo Booth. I like how he thinks he can scare technology into doing what he wants by getting angry. I mean, I'm scared. I am. Look at him. Look at that serious look in his face. There it is goes. He looking at me, or is he looking at the weapons on the wall? He's looking at both. Oh. He took away one of his superpowers. Holy fucking shit. I had to stop the song because photo boot. Again? Really? <sighs> I keep having to. I, I literally had to pause the song because photo booth is freezing up on me. And it's beginning to piss me off. Come on, photo booth, cooperate with me here. Jesus fucking Christ. Ooh. He's got, like, so much more hair on top of his head at this point, too. Yeah, and I mean, like, and his his voice isn't, like, really, really, really oh, super wrecked. Yeah, I I mean like I hate to I hate to be kind of a dick about it, you know. Like I I cuz I I love Cobes. I do. I love Cobes, but uh like he doesn't have that vocal fry yet. He could still do like maybe some melodies. I kind of like it though. I like the fry as well, but it's it's like one of those things where uh where where like you only go one direction, right? You don't you don't go from the fry back to melody. That doesn't happen. <sighs> hmm. Hold on a second, we're not going to screensaver mode. Hold on, I have to pause the song. We're not doing this, we're not doing this. Go back to screensaver mode. Get out Notice of how it's lagging really bad, too? Off of this shit. Yeah. Please. But he's hitting it yeah. really hard. Tap, 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 tap. Because computers, like, bog the fuck down or some shit. <sighs> I hate when my computer monitor goes to sleep in the middle of a fucking video. Like, really? Come on. Same. You can, uh, you can, okay. You can change the settings. Right. But you can change fine. it to never go to sleep if you want. Come yeah. on. Get out of there. Get out of screen saver mode, please. Product reviews. These right here or Jimmy Dean breakfast croissant sandwiches. Yeah, these things are microwavable. <laughs> and guitar videos. <laughs> yeah! I'll tell you what, that sounds, that's actually some of the best playing I've ever seen him do. Is that real? Can, why uh -uh. can't he play like that? Dude, that was better than anything else I've ever seen him ever play on guitar ever. I'll put it I'll put it this way, like when when he when he gets uh into one of his like guitar modes when he wants to do a stream, if he starts playing the guitar before he starts cranking a bunch of booze, I, he can shred pretty fucking good. Not I, I don't know. I don't know. Like I've I'm never seen... I've never seen him play that good ever. Like e like ever. He was playing really? arpeggios there. Yeah, yeah. That's like that's actually, he was playing pretty good right there. Yeah. He would also remake his cigarette trick introduction video on his channel. As you could have predicted. Because now when he plays, it's just nonsense. There's, yeah. there's no actual decipherable style or, or theory to it. It's all just like he's going, it's like nothing. No it's like what I played when I had a guitar before I learned anything on it. Thing was going to change. But this type of content was fine, because this is the type of content Josh's fans loved from Josh. Josh would thankfully keep making outdoor videos with his phone, which was a breath of fresh air, no pun intended. I'm headed to the Ash Cigar Store to pick up a stogie. Well, the reason why I can't go to the Cigar Rialto store anymore is because the owner, Nell, passed away. He was a good man and he uh, had an awesome little shop. 
I still have a Zippo and a cigar cutter I bought from him. Yeah. And it's 4.43. Ooh, the Rialto cigar shop had a beautiful ceiling. All right. Mm, smells good in here. <laughs> All righty, thank you. And now it's a soda fountain. But I noticed sometimes he'll still refer to it as the Rialto Cigar Shop. He wants it yeah. to be a cigar shop again so badly. Yeah, I mean, well, like, so Casper, all right. So I, I've had some preconceptions about Casper for a while, and I've had them dashed on the rocks. Like, I thought Casper was going to be a really small town that had nothing but, like, just absolute shit, like a 5,000, you know, population shitty like oregon coastal town for for reference like, like astoria that's, that's, or something i mean yeah more or less but probably even lamer than astoria um but casper is actually a pretty decent size city yeah actually. yeah it's one of the larger it's not the largest but it's like the top three in the state yeah yeah, it's like Cheyenne, Casper, and the, like one other city. I, I'm not really sure which one it is. But Laramie, like, there's, there's, right? Is it? It might be Laramie. But there's there's like actually shit to do in Casper, but not a lot. I imagine they don't have a whole lot of cigar shops in Casper. Probably hmm. not. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Have a wonderful day. You too. When I think of Casper, I would think it's like a. Like one of the few, I don't know, this is just me assuming, but I would think it's one of the few places where they didn't ban smoking in public and that kind of shit. Yeah. My lyrics and my dick were the bomb. Oh. No. Fucking, oh. uh, hang on. I got, I got to mention this because uh, Cheech, my boy Cheech in the, in the chat mentioned Reedsport. I, I actually grew up in Reedsport, Oregon, and it's a town of like 5,000 fucking people. And I yeah, see. It's, a, it's, a, it's a fucking hole absolute hole the only thing to do there for entertainment is meth it's pretty Ooh. fucking great. sign yeah, me up yeah dude fantastic place <laughs> um but no casper casper's like metropolitan compared to like places like that yeah it's yeah wild. i knew casper was like the wyoming version of a big city it's just yeah, wyoming it, is such a low population that right. you're not going to get like a truly big city there no oh, no not yeah. really Oh. <laughs> that one scene where the main character is drunk on red wine. He's like Ratatouille. It sounds like Ratatouille. <laughs> Look at his teeth. This is from like years of Clint forcing him to brush his teeth, and it held over. I mean, you can you can you can say domineering parents are uh, are terrible, but you know, like sometimes I'm like, well, you know. Sometimes there's evidence that like it kind of works, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Josh would seemingly give up on his job search after only getting one call back from an unknown location, most likely a fast food restaurant. In a strange turn of events, reminiscent of the Liquid Chris saga from the Chris Chan universe, a fan slash troll created a channel called King Cobra JFS, spelt with a K and began <laughs> recreating some of Josh's videos. This is so great. Oh. Here he is. What's good, YouTube? So as you can see, the fidget spinner I was working on came along quite nicely. <laughs> quite nicely oh, no. indeed. I painted it green. I've decided I'm gonna make a can crush video. Here we go. This is so great. Watch this. <laughs> oh, no. Watch this. <laughs> Behold, you the magic crystal on the tip of that wand did that. That's incredible, yeah. honestly. Uh, wait, wait, do... Okay. Does does Liquid Cobra do wands as well? Because can yes. I can I can I can I dual wield an actual Cobra craft and a Liquid Cobra wand? That would, that would be, be amazing. Be yeah, yeah. Dude. Liquid Cobra, if you're out there, buddy, I uh, I gotta put an order in. Yeah, I wonder whatever happened to him. It was see, it was King Cobra JFS, but Cobra was spelled with a K. Yeah, yeah. The powers 
of a real wizard. So this is the real King Cobra signing out. King Cobra with a K also called out Josh and said that he was the real King Cobra as he had uploaded videos after Josh deleted all of his content. He's got he's got the green screen with him sitting in Josh's chair. It's oh, so no. great. Josh ended Man. up addressing the fake King Cobra and Josh would attempt to prove He's got the fake uh like symbol tattooed on his forearm too. Prove he was oh, the okay. real King Cobra. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? It's just been brought to my attention. It's funny because I didn't, I didn't watch Cobra until after this had happened, and I had had this idea I was gonna try to do this. You know, sure. like my hair's thinning, so I was gonna like part my hair down the middle and like wear stupid glasses and a, and a like whatever. And, but it's that already been done. Some, yeah, yeah. Troll has been stealing. Some troll has been stealing my identity. This so-called King Cobra JFS, spelt completely wrong, has been going online and making videos pretending to be me. Now, ever since my last channel got deleted and this one got started, uh, I think that This guy sounds Canadian. He said started. That's around the time he started too. But if you check my videos, you'll notice that I started first. If you check the times on my videos, you'll notice that mine were posted before any of his were, which is all really the mm. proof that you need. So this is a he's, call out he's for you. making a compelling argument, a very compelling argument. Like, do we have the numbers? Do we have the statistics? Who do we believe if we're too lazy to look it up? You know I mean, what I mean? Good question. Yeah. Fake Cobra to back off and quit trying to be me. And then on top of oh, here, here's where Josh figures out, figures it out and starts to that, respond. I got some poor imitator and this is a count called King Cobra JFS spelt exactly like mine. And instead of spelling Cobra with a C, this YouTube user spells King Cobra JFS, the Cobra, and that YouTube user's name is spelled with a K. And there's nothing you can do about it, YouTube. Technology fucks with you, people fuck with you, it's just part of the YouTube experience. True. Um, if they think it's gonna stop me from making videos, they're sadly mistaken. <laughs> he makes deep fried Dorietto. See, Ooh. he's. Yeah, Liquid Cobes is making. He, he's doing he's doing fucking food hacks is that a, a reddit username that he has like watermarked over the video in the lower right hand corner is that what that is uh, that's probably somebody who cataloged this i doubt it's i doubt it's the same guy okay but yeah it's definitely that's definitely like a reddit username okay for sure. that phony cobra wants to challenge me the frozen dorito challenge no sir I'm gonna raise the ante. That other phony Cobra went and bought store fried Doritos. We could do a little bit better than that, YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> because Cobra is known for like recording himself with a huge booger hanging out of his mouth. God ah, damn it. Buddy. God damn it. <laughs> That's a Woo! commitment to the bit that I was not That's prepared up, for. YouTube. That was wild. It was, it, yeah. yeah. It's a nice touch. Yeah. But all, but this guy had an actual deep fryer, and Cobra would just use like a dirty pan with like weak old oil in it. That's what adds the fucking flavor profile. Troll. I know. Yeah. You may have get heard blocked. The so-called real King Cobra. Spelt completely mm. wrong, might I add, has decided <laughs> to challenge me to a spicy food challenge. The Doritos loaded. However, that phony Cobra doesn't even have the kitchen skill. He doesn't even have the kitchen skills, YouTube, to make them himself. <sighs> now, that's what I call a Doritos. Look at his booger pull. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. I saw that in the chat. 
loaded. <laughs> oh my god. god. You know, Twelve different god types. Damn it. I'm not so happy hot. about this. It's pretty great. This is <laughs> wild. Hot sauces. We have jalapeno. We have ghost peppers. Jalapeno. There's a bunch of others too. And of course, adding my own personal favorite, Swampadelic. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Check okay. out that cross section. The cross section. So to the phony Cobra, I challenge the fake Cobra to battle. And here's why, YouTube. I challenge him because with my shredding skills, I know there'll be no doubt that I'm the real Cobra after I destroy him. He has a Canadian accent. Doubt. It is there'll be Canadian. no doubt. Yeah. I've spent so much time around Canadians, I can hear them from a mile away. He's even down in a shot of the sauce, like just yep. getting rid of this shit. That's crazy. That's how you do a spicy Doritos loaded challenge, YouTube. Somebody's <sighs> got to get this maniac under control. This is wild. What is this? Oh, whoa. So and what did I get from the mailman? But a gift from fan of mine, Vapor. And it says, okay. to the real King <laughs> Cobra. To the real underlined King Cobra. Oh, oh. from oh. Vapor. Who's, who's the phony now? So I'm not sure what this is. Uh, I'm gonna do an unboxing. No way, YouTube. I think it's a sex doll. Did you see it? There, it, it, it's, it had the Canadian, uh, it had like a sticker on it with a Canadian flag oh. in the case. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that oh. is beautiful. Uh, ah, it's so a nice it, 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 It's a Les Paul, it's a Gibson Les Paul. Yeah. Uh, he sent me a... Gibson. Gibson. <laughs> Paul. Uh, that's all right. Thanks, I guess. That's all right, I guess. Yeah, send me cash. Yeah. 20 bucks, YouTube. That's more than I got on my last Wendy's paycheck. <laughs> Thank you, sir. God damn. King Cobra with a K he's, he's... would end up doing... Yeah. He's... He's really committed to this bit. This I is, like uh, it. Yeah, it's 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 fascinating. He doesn't sure. do a good impersonation of Josh, but it's it, it's he's he's emulating him well enough for it to be good. He's he's you know like the and I don't know if anybody can ever really do a good impersonation of Josh because Josh Josh is like there's nobody like Josh. There's, there's a reason why we watch. There's, there's a reason a why we love him. Uh, but you can at least pick up the affectations as like a tribute. There's actually a woman I've seen that does a pretty good Cobra impersonation. Sometimes is that a uh, uh, organ organ. What's her name? I I can't remember. No 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 no. It's it's a it's some woman that like dresses like him and wears the hat and does the voice really good. It's oh good. no, I I have seen that. Yeah yeah yeah, I've seen that. I was I was thinking of Queen Corgi and her boobs. No no no, I'm oh. Cobra doesn't have boobs. I'm talking about someone who does and who dresses like Cobra and like does an the impersonation. Deep fried Doritos yeah, challenge know, that I, Josh had failed. I, 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 I'm thinking of her boobs. Yeah. Josh, a few days later, would watch King Cobra with a K, and accepted the guitar challenge. And I've already seen it. His guitar playing is so pathetic. I'm gonna school this motherfucker on some real guitar playing. The fake King Cobra JFS Don fucked up. The first mistake he made was saying that he worked at Wendy's. If he's pretending to be me, most motherfuckers know that I got fired from Wendy's because of some YouTube bullshit. Well, Liquid Cobra doesn't get fired. He gets promoted to district manager. But then come to... First, well, he goes from dining room attendant to fry cook to grill to sandwiches to register to assistant manager to manager and then general manager and then district manager. Climb yeah, the but he could just be talking shit. Like, we don't know if that's actually true. Oh, damn it. Find out, right. YouTube, that I didn't just... I didn't get fired from Wendy's just because of what YouTube trolls were saying about me. It turns out they were remodeling the place, 
they were no longer in need of a lobby attendant, so they fired me because of that and because of the YouTube bullshit. I do have to say, I, d- I worked at Wendy's, uh, and normally the... Uh the the lobby attendant was someone who they would hire that was like disabled <laughs> usually uh, yeah very commonly their yeah. job was wiping down the tables wash uh like uh stacking the trays and taking them back to wash them and like refilling the ketchup and that kind of stuff right uh, yeah, yeah someone yeah, in the chat that. says sandwiches is a real position at wendy's yeah if you're working the grill you're not allowed to touch anything else because you get raw meat on your hands. So you pass when you have a cooked burger or whatever, you pass it over to the sandwich maker and their job is to assemble the sandwich. Right. They see the order right. on a screen and it has all the toppings on it and they fix it the way the person who ordered it wanted, it. And then they wrap it up and then send it down the line. Sandwiches is, is a job. Yeah. It's kind of right. complicated because everyone wants their burger the way they want it, you know, so and um extra mayo light ketchup you wouldn't believe like how particular some people get (laughs) the little spicy doritos loaded challenge that i did apparently the uh fake king cobra jfs drank an entire bottle of swampadelic i hope your asshole still burns from that you motherfucker (laughs) he's so mad i saw his pathetic attempt at a, a guitar challenge video and it was so bad. It was so bad. He was so bad at guitar. I'm like, bro, he's going to get slaughtered. Josh would then make a video shredding on his guitar with his friend Alex Anderson. Alex would hilariously claim that he was related to both gunslinger Jesse James and, of course, Adolf Hitler. What's what? good, YouTube? Check oh, this oh, out. No! Can we not do this, Josh? Bad idea bad idea he's growing his hair back what are you talking about hair's coming in nicely tubes Look. but yeah but ixnay on the hitler a eh? okay like we learned this first day in in internet like influencer school okay don't do that don't 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 be that guy don't be that how my widow's peak is regrowing so nicely and this is the weird thing of it youtube is this side is growing faster than this side hey i've lied to myself like this too like, oh man, that Rogaine, that Rogaine's really working, man. <laughs> and they're both starting to grow back quite nicely. You can definitely see. I heard, uh, I heard that he put, uh, he used to put onions on his head. He would like put onions like in his hat, because uh, because he, he heard onions help grow your hair back, and that's why the the comic book that was put out, um. It was produced by Onion Head Comics. They named themselves after, like, Cobra wearing onions on his head. Someone else can verify that. I know there's someone out there. You know what I'm saying? Just remember all them motherfuckers that are running their mouths trying to be you and trying to give that dude attention, man. They're just jealous. Yeah. You know, fuck, dude. They just want to fuck with you because they know you're autistic. It's like motherfuckers fuck with me because I'm Leave me alone. I'm autistic. Yeah. There's motherfuckers that say, oh, look, there's the four eyed funky fish. Motherfuckers, dude. Fucking, it's like, dude, you know what? Fuck you, man. Hell, man. Just saying, people, you know, just saying. Why do you have to exercise when you know you're the cousin of Hulk Hogan? Hell, man. Related. Okay. This guy claims he's like the. Listen to all the people he says he's related to. So he claims to be the cousin of Hulk Hogan. He's going to name these other people. It's like, what? Hold on. Wait, listen to this. It's Hulk Hogan. Are you? Literally. <laughs> Hulk Hogan and Jesse James. Hulk Hogan and Jesse. I don't know if he means like the, the like cowboy Jesse James or if he means the guy from American Choppers or whatever. Damn. I don't either. Jesse James, the American Choppers guy, kind of looked like Hulk Hogan. They were like old guys with muscles and like the, the, the mustache. But yeah, then he, I but, get it. But then he, this guy names another famous relative. Just wait. Um, it, hell, most people don't believe it, but fucking Adolf Hitler is one of my great uncles. <laughs> uh, that's not great. That's not that. So Hogan. Great. Jesse James and yeah. Adolf Hitler. I feel right. 
Like, he barely even played any fucking guitar in his video. And it's so fucking obvious he wants attention. But if you're going to fucking call somebody He's getting... out on guitar who's been playing... See, see, Ratlord, you said the liquid bit is lame, but Josh is getting triggered by it, and that means it's it's working. Therefore, it is a good troll. I disagree with you wholeheartedly. If you can make the liquid bit work, if if the person you're being the liquid version of is getting all triggered by it, it's a good bit. Since junior high, and you barely play anything on the fucking guitar, you're just a pathetic excuse for a human being, really. I hate oh. to admit it, right? Like, yeah, no, you're right. It's... It, it really comes down to, like, it, it, what's the ultimate goal? Is it going to get the, the reaction that you want? Yeah, this obviously fucking did. So, yeah, nah, you're right. All these shit talkers. I wonder if they eat shit for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, they probably do. They probably do. They probably do. <laughs> Alex would return a few days later and said some risque racist jokes. Oh, God. Oh, no. Sweet. Hmm. My buddy Alex, what do you think of that chicken, though? Not bad. Not bad. Hell yeah. Bad. Bad. This right here would be a Negro's favorite lunch. Don't be racist on my channel, please. Oh, yeah, yeah. Josh, clap uh, back uh, on that. Good on good Sorry. on Josh. Oh, that's dope. That's dope of Josh. What about that, like, folks? Not, don't, Some don't, don't, don't be ignorant. Don't be ignorant on my channel, man. Don't be doing that shit. Friends are um just a wee bit racist. I ain't racist. I was just fucking making a joke. Just joke, bro. Uh, hey, just sorry. joke, bro. It's all right. King Cobra with a K would one up Josh once again by doing the T Rex Burger Challenge from Wendy's. Oh, he's oh riding no. bike. What? He's wearing like swimming pool goggles. <laughs> Good, you two. <laughs> <laughs> and God, you know to really say thanks to all my subs um, today I'll be doing uh, something that the uh, phony King Cobra has been claiming he was planning on doing for a long time and he's Ooh. never quite done oh wait a second oh yeah that's a halfie just found a halfie oh god did he picked up like a half cigarette off the ground Dude. Oh, it's a refry, yeah. Oh. Certainly what's up. I'm just about to hit the gym. I'm just a boot to hit the gym. So I can be the, uh, well, so I can remain the swollest uh, motherfucker in Casper. In Toronto, I mean Casper. Yeah. Look at that burger. Ah! That's called a T-Rex burger. Ah! You're, you're talking to Cobra. <laughs> he, all right, Cobra all right. does these angles. He does. I know, I know, but like, oh my fucking god, this is a bit much. <laughs> HD this, baby. This might be. This might even be too much for me, dude. I'm not high enough for this. By the way, please like the stream if you haven't already. I appreciate it. Give us a subscribe. Only the oh, best yeah. for my fans. Also, check the link in the description for all of our $25 plus patrons. You're getting early access to the crazy drunken vlog that me and Jeff filmed back in October at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. It's three and a half hours long. Amazing content. You don't want to miss it. Of absolute depravity. It is. In fact, the reason I have Neither of us are proud of what we did. Too bad they didn't let us bring cameras into Mary's Club. That's all I can say. Yeah, it could have been so much more. <laughs> I uploaded a video all week. The reason I haven't uploaded a video all week, YouTube, is because me, Fun Size Felicia, and Stephanie have been getting freaky all week. <laughs> oh, no. He was too busy oh, no. getting freaky with Stephanie and Fun Size been Felicia. Too busy boning down. Right. See, Liquid Cobra still works at Wendy's. He's still with Stephanie, but he's also got Fun Size Felicia. It's too hot, gotcha. True, true. Okay, yeah, true. All right. Yeah. I'm very disturbed by all of this. I'm freaking out, videos. man. Well, we made one video. I've got it on my iPod Touch so I can watch it at my convenience. But you won't be seeing that. <laughs> uh, Donald Trump, you should make weed legal. Or I'll cast a dark spell on true. you. During Josh's feud with King Cobra with a K, 
Josh's friend Alex Campbell made his on-screen debut, off-screen and coughing. So thank you to all of you who wished me a, a happy birthday. Yesterday was my birthday. Now today, I also used some of my birthday money to mail Ozzy Osbourne's wand. That's he said Ozzy a wand. I wonder what and happened. Then, Ozzy was like, what is this shit? And he's like snapped it in half and threw it away. Yeah, I do remember when he when he did that. Uh, it didn't go the way he did wanted. Did it get returned like, or something? It, yeah, like yeah. I, it got returned to sender. I don't think it even got opened or anything. When like you're that. like a huge rock star like Ozzy Osbourne, you know people send you weird shit, and you're probably paranoid about. You probably have your mail inspected by somebody else, right? Uh, obviously, yeah. obviously. So, like, it, it really was not going to be anything personal. But Josh, I, I know, I remember this saga enough to know that Josh took this extremely personal. I've, like, it it bothered him. I think lot. I've seen the video where he got it back and he was all heard about it. I walked yeah. from the post office to Little Caesars so I could do a food review for you on YouTube. Well, on the way back to my apartment, I ran into my buddy Alex Campbell. Oh. On March 25th, and then walking home from a friend's house, March 25th, I found $20 in a puddle of water near the curb of the sidewalk. I went into Second Street Liquor Store and I bought a bottle of 360 peach and 360 bean cherry. Still vodka. loving the peach. Yeah, my buddy Alex can He's got like bleach stains on his t shirt. Bull over here's got a uh, bit of a cold he's been trying to fight. Yeah. After Josh lashed out at King Cobra with a K, and Josh's magic Sean. powers took out this troll. What's good, YouTube? As you, as you probably, as you probably noticed, I've been away for about a week now. Some of you were saying that that that, that phony King Cobra had defeated me, and some of you were saying that I had given up on making videos but here I am uh, so I was sick for a week and also there's been uh, something wrong with my uh, my computer hi uh, Sean hey Cobra I wonder if this guy already had this puppet or if he bought it just to do the Liquid Cobes character he had to have bought it for it I mean, no, no sane person just buys a puppet in yeah. a tech seat that like y y there has to be a purpose, right? What have you been up to lately, Sean? Oh, you know, just hanging around. Well, I feel like I'm at work right now, to be honest. Why is that? Because I'm used to being around assholes with no lies. And huh? today's no different. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Shut up, Sean. Shut up, Sean. <coughs> this is pre-Rona, by the way. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. This Tuesday is soon a cast of fucking spell on me. He doesn't realize that my dark powers are protecting anything. What's going on? Will not work. And on top of that, it's also going to bounce back on him. Your ship's fucking boiling fucked up. And you will remember. Just remember when your ship's boiling fucked up, you'll remember not to fuck with me. Just remember when your ship's boiling fucked up, you'll remember not to fuck with me. Oh, shit. And uh, you're going to realize real quickly. He's committing Sudoku! No! Liquid Cobes! Liquid Cobes, don't do it! Oh, God, no! Liquid Cobes, no! And on the third day, he rose. Like I said... I'm used I'm to dealing with assholes with no lies. This is so good. <laughs> it's so good. And today's no exception. 
<laughs> Alex started hanging out at Josh's apartment and began appearing in numerous videos and started to get on Josh's fans nerves as Alex was very annoying and lied about the dumbest things. What's good, YouTube? So I'm hanging out with some friends of mine, my buddy Alex Campbell and his girlfriend. What's your name? You don't give up, babe. It's a blood stench on the carpet. Oh, he's doing Smooth Criminal. He's probably doing the Alien Ant Farm version. You went through the bedroom. You were sucked down. You were zero You know what, bro? What? I give you fucking props. You know why? Why is that? That guy, every... Music video, he would ever see him in. He's wearing these guy, these fucking tight ass skinny jeans. <laughs> and you tried. You're damned as being snockered to sing that song. I remember when I used to wear skinny jeans in high school. What is Warlord tight? So Warlord was like methed out even at this point. Apparently. Is it, what, what? So is this this is the same dude as Warlord? They said Alex Campbell started sleeping at his house. He was letting Alex oh, Campbell. That, that that's the name of Warlord. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. He kind of sounds like Steve's Stevo from Jackass. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. No, King Cobra. You, you know yeah. what? I gotta give you props, man. You know, it's pretty fucking amazing. Right? Yeah. I felt like my balls were in my throat. I couldn't speak. And I'm not wearing skinny jeans, I'm wearing black Wrangler, or black jeans. I, I couldn't speak, let alone sing, bro. And that's the person you tried oh, to damn. honestly uh, oh, do a good <laughs> song for, which, mind you, you kept up with the beat, you kept up with his sounds, his voice, you were there yeah. every second of the way. I noticed in this video that I can only barely hear the background music for that song, from your headphones. So I was like, you know what? He's actually keeping up with him. Maybe if his balls were in his throat, he would <laughs> sound just like him. Maybe. Balls are if his balls were in his throat. They're in my throat, so I guess that's my only downfall. No, they're, they're, they're deep down between your legs, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. In early April, Josh would announce some good news. Homeboy Scotty and his girlfriend Tina were having their first child. That did oh. not turn out well. <laughs> Just what society needed. You want to say hi to YouTube? Hey YouTube. <laughs> Woo, I got my Starbucks. Hashtag. Oh, is that Homeboy Scotty's baby's mama? I have white girl status. I guess so. <laughs> They're at the Casper Mall, it looks like. Or is that Walmart? Yeah, it might just be Walmart. Uh, that's my homegirl Tina. She's, is he uh, standing in front of Qdoba? Uh, carrying my homeboy Scotty's kid. Nobody talks shit on Tina YouTube. She's a sweetheart. You talk shit on me, you're talking shit. You talk shit on her, you're talking shit on me and my other friend Scotty. So fuck you if you're gonna talk shit. If you're drinking anything while you're smoking a tobacco pipe, it's kind of like taking a drink with a dip in your mouth, YouTube. It's a certain set of skills required. You gotta be skillful. Yeah, you gotta be skillful. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. He was talking about how it took a lot of skill to do what he was doing, and then he just dropped it. And <laughs> well, Incredible. that was really God smooth, damn it. wasn't it? Stupid, God clumsy, damn. autistic me. Fuck, I hate spilling shit. God damn uh, it. Well, shit happens, oh, otherwise we wouldn't poop. What? Uh, I'm going uh, hmm. Hmm. to go on a little tangent. So please stay with me. It's not a secret that Josh smokes weed. And it's also not a secret wow. that smoking weed in Wyoming is illegal. When Josh uh, brings up smoking weed, he will often say, when I take a trip to Colorado, as a code to his fans. It has often been a conspiracy theory that Josh has been recording videos of him smoking weed in the event weed were to be made legal in the state of Wyoming. By the way, if anyone out there wants to torture Jeff with two straight minutes of uh, Jared Genesis laughing, all you have to do uh, is donate uh, $102 exactly. Well, you, you could not do that. You could do that it, would, though. You could do uh, you, it. You, you, there's Although a lot of things that you could do. 
was no <laughs> you know jared's been false dmcaing me so i thought what i might do to make up the money since he has no money to sue him for or whatever maybe i'll yeah. just put his ugly face on a t-shirt and sell it that's a great idea I, that's some, a gr I, someone I photoshopped don't... him looking like a sad clown and it's a hilarious picture I I would maybe rock a, a T-shirt of Jared's face if it was like uh, if it if it had some implication it's of like how much chimo he was like that I might do that. Well, it's it's a sad clown, Jared, and you it, as we know, most sad clowns are chimos. That's true. That's the whole Republican. Party that's why. Right now. That's why they're sad. <laughs> Proof that Josh had been making these videos in 2020. Josh's secret would be revealed. In What's... 2020, Josh privated every single one of his videos, but then made them all public again. Sadly for Josh, he had dozens of videos of him smoking weed from 2017 and 18. Oh, no. These videos appeared as brand new videos, and <laughs> all of Josh's subscribers- <laughs> Okay, th this will go on for a little while. <laughs> yeah. I do whatever I do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> this one has a good r rhythm to it. It does. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a Latin waltz. <laughs> Fucking Jared. Jesus Christ. Fibers <laughs> was alerted okay. of them. Josh's first wheat smoking video was recorded in early April 2017 with his friends Alex Campbell and Alex Anderson, R.I.P. Ricky, what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, we have a ratchet head full of... Oh, I do believe that's cannabis. Crying. Blueberry bubble gum. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, that's a, that's a good comment. Somebody, somebody said that uh, Kobe should go to Burning Man. I, I would absolutely... He would die. Here. No, 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 no. I, I would volunteer to here be... Here it is right here, by the way. Cobes, Cobes <laughs> Care at Burning Man, having been several times myself, I would volunteer to be Cobes Care <laughs> at Burning Man. I guarantee you, if we took him to Burning Man, he'd come back a totally different fucking person. He would be... It, it, would, not even, it would not even be the same human being. It would be amazing. It would be incredible. Can I see that white wall of YouTube? Oh, yes, 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 yes. <coughs> What's good, YouTube? So check this out. This is my buddy Jeremy's bong. And I'm holding on to it for him until he's off probation. And uh, me and a couple of my homies here are smoking out of it. Gotta love capsule videos, man. Who, your two buddy Alex? Smoking perfectly legal tobacco out of it, of course. I, I, it was so funny in Ohio. If there was a head shop, they had to pretend like it was for tobacco when you bought it. You'd be like, oh, and if you mentioned weed, they would kick you out. Yep. Yeah. I am here to buy a water tobacco pipe. Yeah. Well, thank you, sir. I will show you all of our tobacconist products. Yeah. Like, yep. Who yeah, the I'm fuck smokes crazy. tobacco out of a bong? Nobody. I, I, I've, I have actually done it once, and it was the worst experience of my fucking. I've done life. like hookah at like a at like a Turkish restaurant, and they had yeah. the the flavored tobacco and everything, and that was cool. But it's awful for you. It's yes. like legitimately one of the worst things in the world you could possibly do for your lungs is to is to smoke hookah. Yeah. It's so fucking bad for you. Yeah. You know my buddy Marshall. Yeah. The gay Marshall. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. I don't give a shit what someone's preference is. As long as I ain't coming on to me, we're golden. He always does that. Man, right. that's like, that is like one of the telltale signs of a homophobic person. They're like, yeah, I don't hate gay people, so you don't hit on me. It's like, why are they going to hit on you? Like, what makes you so attractive that they they can't help themselves? Oh, well, I can't. I can't help myself, but hit on you. That's bullshit. I'm I'm all right with them queers as long as they don't try and suck my fucking dick. Like, uh, <laughs> I think you're good, man. You're yeah. probably fine. I, I yeah, tell him that. Cool. Yeah. About a lot of my friends that I introduce him to, like, hey, man, I've, I've told him that you're gay, but just don't try coming to coming on to him or it'll piss him off. 
Although Alex Campbell was annoying the piss out of Josh's fans. I was like, guess what, bro? What? The other day I got so tired of people fucking, like, I got thinking about, like, why do people have to bully other people? It yeah. made me mad, and I was just walking along trying to get signs, bro. Yeah. Wow. Warlord looks exactly the same. My yeah. That, yeah, uh, he doesn't age. I got? He's only, I guess he's smaller than Josh. No wonder Josh just, like, kicked him across the room. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know what? And then, here's the problem. Warlord, he's he's cracked out and stuff, but he's bisexual, and he did hit on Cobra, and that is why Cobra kicked him across the room. He did. He told him yeah. to stop, too, and he wouldn't stop, and that's why he did it. Right. So that's bad representation. You know what I mean? Like That kind of reinforces yeah. Josh's like passive homophobia that he has. You know? Right, right. Right. I, I'd have a lot more respect for him if he had an active homophobia. No, I'm just... <laughs> what I'm fucking saying. You know what I mean, though. I do, I do. No, and I agree. I agree, for sure. And uh, some guy was driving by and he was hard and he had his window down. He was like, fucking hoser. And I'm just like, hey, come back and save my face. And he looked out his window like, really? <laughs> right? What? Cobra had like really straight teeth too. Like his teeth were very naturally straight. He actually had kind of nice teeth. It's crazy. He did. Yeah, it's he good. Totally YouTube, did. It's your boy King Cobra here, hanging out with my buddy Alex Campbell. Woo woo. And uh, well, a buddy brought some alcohol over, and we have oh, we got two beer bottles besides this one, but we got some Fleshmans. Well, my pop tobacco did not get in here today. Damn it! But hopefully damn it. tomorrow. Look that. Mmm. Nice. It's a Brand Sherlock new, Holmes pipe. Never been used. Won't be used until that pipe tobacco gets here. <laughs> All right? <laughs> Look at that, you I, two. I love, I love how Warlord sounds like he's 85 years old. He sounds it's so great. He sounds like either Johnny Knock or uh, not Johnny Knock, but uh, Steve O. He sounds like either uh -huh. Steve O or Whoopi yeah. Goldberg. Who both sound the same? Uh, that's uh, I have actually noticed that they do actually sound almost exactly the same. Yeah. But he's he's simultaneously like uh, a mid twenties Casper meth addict and an eighty five year old fucking crotchety old man yep. with his balls pinched. Yeah, like I joined this out. I got myself a fucking pipe and I'm going to smoke it till I got that pipe tobacco. Like, dude, Christ. Look Jesus, at that, just you two, just to up. make this one drink. That's a half, a half pint. Oh, shit. Oh, party foul. <laughs> Not anymore, bitch. <laughs> well, less than half. Ha! <laughs> Cobra was mad, was pissed for a second there. He was like, what the fuck? A little bit fuck? less than half now. I mean, I... You spilled a little bit on the carpet. It's all good. I spilled the... Yeah, it's like cleaner. You clean the carpet. A little bit on the carpet, shit. but you know what? That part of the carpet yeah. will be clean and sanitized. There you go. Yep. I know why YouTube, nobody fucks with me, YouTube, okay? I have a Glock 45 sitting in my fucking house right fucking now. Well, you're not at your house, so what are you going to do with it? With a 17-round clip. You want to fuck with me? Well, those are illegal where I live. Hey, that's plain and simple. Speaking of guns, man, I want to get my double barrel shotgun fixed. My grandfather, people, was a master gunsmith. He went through World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. What? Wait, 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 no, wait, no, wait. no, the, no, no, no. He went, he went through World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. I'm like, I don't know. I guess maybe if they were like a private in in World War II, and then were like a general or something in Vietnam. Yeah, like they they lied on the intake forum and they were like 15 when they went to to war in World War Two, yeah. And then like maybe in for some reason we're still in it enough in the right kind of like mo to get into Vietnam, but probably not. There's plenty of people that did World War Two and Korea though. That was no, enormous, those wars were very close together. That is totally understandable, yeah. but like. From there and move into Vietnam, like, nah, dude. No, no, no. I don't think so. No. That's, that's ridiculous. No, no, no. Like, uh, like World War II was like my grandfather's generation, and Vietnam was like my 
parents' generation. Like, it's... oh, dude, Buffalo Spirit, I think nailed it. Heat Warlord sounds like Dale Gribble, like a young Dale Gribble. I hear it a little bit. I hear it a yeah. little bit, like kind of yeah, like a gay Gale Gribble. Yeah, you don't know who I am, but I know who you are, substitute teacher. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. John Redcorn, can I watch you fuck my wife? <laughs> no, fix my wife's migraines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Was... Gay Dale Gribble would want to watch. Oh. True. Yeah, get a piece of that John Redcorn. Everything I've learned from him, I can apply to today. Alex Anderson, on the other hand, would lend some comic relief and tell some hilarious stories during Josh's videos. Yeah, man, fucking today on the bus, this fucking dude was touching this eight-year-old little girl inappropriately, sexually, and I looked at him and I told him... This is the guy that told the, the, uh, the jokes. I think this is the guy that claimed Hitler was his uncle or whatever, too, which is ridiculous. All right, this is, this is him defending the honor of an eight-year-old girl on a bus... That's getting chai mode in Casper. Okay, tell, tell us all about it. All right. Hey, man, why are you touching that little girl like that? And he told me, oh, I just needed to cop a fill, man. I do not believe this story. I do not believe it. I, don't, I mean, like, it's possible, but I feel like someone like that would at least deny it, even if they really did it, unless they're completely insane. I don't know. Uh I, I'm I'm just going to automatically assume that all of everything that this stupid motherfucker is saying is complete horseshit. He said he was related I, to Hulk Hogan, Jesse James, and Adolf Hitler. It's like Hulk is Hulk Hogan's related to Adolf Hitler. I mean, I somebody should ask the Hulkster about that. You know, maybe maybe he can he can elucidate Brother. with his for us like Hulk. So this random dude in Casper says that you are related to Adolf Hitler. Uh, what's your response? Like, I want to know what Terry has to say about that Well, I that mean, shit. we've all seen the sex tape, right? Uh, I told him, but yeah. yeah, but I, I have a feeling that, that Hogan's packing a lot more hog than Hitler did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All those years of roids. I guarantee you Hogan's still on roids, too, because he's so big for, like, a 70-year-old man. He's... But you know what's crazy, though? So you saw the sex tape, though, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Hogan's got some fucking hog. He's got some fucking meat. He was, I, I mean, like, even before he got into wrestling and did the roids, he was, like, a, a pretty big guy, naturally. Like, really tall. I mean, his dick. He had a big dick in that fucking... He's Italian. Uh, yeah, that... yeah, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. That's probably what a lot of it is. Like, yeah. he's... he's... You know, he's got that that hung Italian meat and shit. Yeah. But like, you know, even with the roids and everything, homeboy's got some pipe. Yeah, he's got some fucking pipe. Well, and, you shouldn't uh, be. I was shocked about that. I don't know why I'm talking about it so much. Female like that in the first place, let alone an eight-year-old, especially an eight-year-old little girl. And fucking, I told him, I see you touch her like that again, dude. I'm gonna fuck you up. And then her again, mom, you get, you gave him a freebie. Like, well, thank you for <laughs> like, up for my. All right, you could do it that one time. It's like what? I, this story is so <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> what? Daughter, even though you don't know her, and I told her you're welcome. You know. And the little girl even thanked Alex. She's yeah. like, she said, "Thanks for sticking up for me." That felt uncomfortable. And I'm like, I imagine it did. Right. And, and it's like these, this fucking dude at the library today was pissed off at his girlfriend. And he, he hit one elderly fuck? lady, and I asked him, why the hell did you hit These guys are just like the vigilante superheroes of Casper, Wyoming. What in the fuck is happening right now? Holy shit. You know, that little girl that was getting fucking molested on a bus was like, yo, you guys are some real ones. Like, dude, <laughs> shut the fuck she up. She was like, like that as they got off the bus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man, I'm fucking yeah. pissed off, you fucking four-eyed faggot. And he was calling me names and shit. Oh, uh, what? You hit another fucking woman. What? You're gonna whoop your ass. And then this this other elderly lady came past, and he fucking just straight up cold clocked that lady. And I was okay. like, all right, dude, that's it. And I fucking, I hit him with my left hand, and he didn't drop. And I hit him with my right hand, and he dropped. And then I fucking hit him again, and he started crying like a little bitch. <laughs> and fucking kicked him in his face and his nose. I don't was believe this story And at I didn't all. even get arrested because the officers were like, well, thanks for standing up for elderly ladies and the elderly ladies told me well thank you for standing up for me because i dislike dudes who hit women and i was like yeah so do i right oh did i tell uh, you i've seen this this fucking this gay dude today fucking stick he stuck cantaloupes in his shirt at walmart and he was wearing a mini skirt 
What the fuck? Yeah, dude, he been. This is such bullshit. This guy is like a classic bullshitter. I've known people like this before. Where like their stories get more and more and more grandiose, and it's like, huh? I I don't know. You know, the the thing is, I actually have known people like this as well. And the best response to anybody that's like this, let them start talking and then be like, wow, yeah, that's fucking crazy. Egg them on until they start running out of steam and make them more and more ridiculous fucking stories until even they sound like they don't believe them because they'll do it. They'll totally do it. They're addicted to it. Nobody lies like this for any other reason than the fact that their life fucking sucks and, like, this is how they reinforce their own sense of value in their lives. And they'll just keep going. If you egg them on, they'll go until it is so fucking ridiculous. Even they don't think that you're buying it anymore. It's pretty great. Over to pick something up, and all you seen was fucking ball sack. Uh, and my buddy Carl's like, man, that's fucking nasty, man. Yeah. Now, if some gay dude were to hit on me, I'd be polite about it the first time. I'd be like, no, bro, I'm straight. Fuck off. This is your only warning. Right. Second time, you're getting your fucking ass kicked. That's what happened with Warlord. <laughs> like, I'm not going to put up uh, with it, dude. Did it, though? It, it, happened, seem- it happened more than a... The, the harassment happened, like, multiple times. And he didn't, like, kick his ass, but he did, like, boot him across the room. It was crazy. That's true. He did. He did. He he put hands. He he put hands. He defended his own chastity. Warlord so flew across the room into the like wand making bench. It's it's yeah. hilarious. That's true. I told, That's true. I told that dude. I was like, dude, I'm straight. I I love pussy. So you keep bugging me, and you're gonna eat my knuckles, right? And the motherfucker's like, oh, well, you ain't got. I mean, up. like, do you even have to proclaim your love for pussy? Can't you just be like, you're harassing me? Get away from me! Like, I mean, like. Yeah. It's an unwanted sexual advance either way. Right. You know? I don't... Mm-hmm. To a woman. I was like, dude, you ain't a fucking woman. Right? You fucking... That's what... Get... Man, I'm not here to disrespect on transgender, but if they want to be delusional and call themselves the sex they aren't, go ahead. You know, more power to you. But I really don't care, you know? I, mean, I, don't, I don't judge gay people because I have friends and cousins that are gay. Right. It's just when they fucking hit on me and shit, it's like, fuck you, man. Your cousins hit on you? Oh, It's okay if his cousins are Wait, yeah. are, uh, are women and they hit on him, though. <laughs> I've, got, I've, got, I've got questions now. I, I need further clarification on this one. <laughs> the fuck away hmm. from me. Oh, it's like, you know, you can change your outside body, but you can't change your DNA structure. Exactly. Dude, hanging out with uh, my buddy Alex over here. How's it going? And, uh... So there's two Alexes. There's Warlord Alex, and then this... I like Warlord better than this guy. Yeah. I like the homeless meth head Alex better than this other Alex. Yeah, this guy kind of sucks. Yeah. He can't drink these because he's epileptic, but I, on the other hand, can. You can take a few swigs for me since today's my birthday. Right. But I just turned 23. But yeah, this is the Monster Mutant. This is Mark. Got any more of that pizza? I'm out of pizza, dude. Oh, okay. Yeah. We even had a rare moment when both Alex's and Steve appeared in one of Josh's both videos. Both Alex's. And there are some women that are just flat out creeped out by me, so, you know. Which is kind of crazy. I think any woman on their right mind should be attracted. He was just ripping ass. Did you hear that? Cobra Cobra lifted his butt and ripped yeah. some ass. Hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it, though. He I tilts a little bit to the side. We oh. even had a rare moment when right both here. Alex's I love this. and Steve appeared in one of Josh's videos. And, there are- and Warlord's like spitting the game at him while he's farting. Some women there are just flat out creeped out by me, so, you know. Which is kind of crazy. I think any woman on their right mind should be attracted to you. <laughs> so Alex is like, that's crazy. Any woman in the right mind would be attracted to you as he's ripping ass. <laughs> that's such a fucking power move right there. Yeah. Ab- absolute Al- Alba shot mail right there. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Incredible. Oh, I appreciate that, man. Thanks. But that is, a, that is a statement that I. I'm not trying to sound gay, man, but if I was a woman, I'd flirt with you because you got, you're got a pretty good looking dude. You're not a woman and you flirt with them anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, oh. Warlord, if only you knew. 
<laughs> I don't know if Warlord had come out to Cobra yet at this point. No, Warlord was still trying to figure out who Warlord was going to be. Yeah. yeah, except for she's if she's below the age of 18, I'm not doing it. Right, <laughs> right. Was she? I didn't stop to ask. Fuck sickos. And if they Fuck try sickos. saying, yeah, tell them I want proof. Right. Show ID. Show <laughs> exactly. And you know how you can tell an ID is fake? How's that? They don't glow underneath a black light. There you go. Oh, On top of that, that, you... He's starting to thin up top at this point, yeah. you know. It's yeah. it's, ha it's happening, yeah. See, there are a lot of chicks. I mean, look at his dad. His dad has no hair. It happens. Yeah. I talked yeah. about this it's in a previous video. What? There are a lot of chicks who walk around with fake IDs trying to get with older dudes. Or and going to bars. That's right, exactly. Go to the fucking bars to avoid that shit. You ask me, that's just a setup. Yeah, like fucking... Okay, here's the thing. It's a setup to... For a sting operation. Yeah, no shit. Arrested, <laughs> no right? shit. Like, basically, tubes. If they look too young, stay away. Yeah. Don't even stop and ask. Right. Yeah. Because that's just trouble. If they're open. young and they're wearing clothes like a fucking tramp, because if you stop and start flirting with them, then... You're caught. Yeah. Instantly. Girls that are real young that wear clothes like they're a fucking tramp or a slut are just doing that to target you. I don't come down pedophilia. That shit is wrong and it should never be performed by any other. Performed. That's such a weird way of saying it. It should never be performed. I fucking hate people who are pedophiles. Right, fuck pedophiles, man. Sex offenders, fucking... Fuck sickos. I beat the fuck out the sex offender one time because fucking... Oh, I'm not a sex offender and then he touches my fucking two-year-old little nephew sexually. And I was like, hey, motherfucker, I thought you said you wasn't a fucking pedophile. Oh, I'm not. Bull fucking shit, why'd you just grab my fucking two-year-old little nephew's pecker? Uh, pecker, what a uh, weird word. I was word. just making sure he didn't have no scabs. I was like, yeah, right. What? Okay, I don't believe it. This guy is such a bullshitter. You know, and then I let it just go at that point. And then again, he fucking grabs my fucking two-year-old little nephew's pecker again. And I'm like, all right, dude, that's it. Get the fuck out. He's like, this ain't your house, this is your sister's house. And I'm like, bullshit, motherfucker. It might be my sister's house, but that's my nephew. Like, get out before and I kill you. touched him twice. Get out before I and kill you. And get the fuck out before I kick your fucking ass. And For real. You, and make you kiss my motherfucking 45 barrel. And <laughs> this is all posturing. He's all like. I doubt this even happened. Your brother's making me leave. And my sister's like, Alex, why are you making him leave? I was like, because he touched Ryan's fucking pecker twice. You know, that's my little nephew. His name him. is Ryan. Yeah, you know, killed him because that's called he's pecker. And she's all like, oh yeah, well, family. And then she straight up looked at that dude and was like, get the fuck out. I beat the fuck out of a fucking pedophile in the county jail because he's all like, oh man, I would love to touch a little girl right now. And I was like, dude, that's fucking senseless. nasty, man. I'd beat him. This guy, all he talks it's about senseless. is this Why shit. Why the fuck would you do that because you can't get no pussy? Oh. Uh, because it's it's still a type of pussy. Dude, go fuck a goat. If like, that. No one's going to say that in jail. Like, no. No. Yeah, yeah that's gross. Dude, fuck. Nobody fuck is off. going, no one in their right mind who wants to survive jail is going to say that. No, no way. Not even close. Right. Oh, fuck, dude, you want to fucking fuck something? Fucking find a toilet paper roll and some fucking. I do not believe this story <laughs> at all. Fuck. Nope, me neither. Yeah. Leave the children alone. They have a life to live in. I have friends. Yeah, he was saying he was in jail and someone was saying that. And then, like, trying to justify it. Mm. It's not true. Way too like, why, 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 why even fetishize this kind of shit? Like, it's so fucking weird and gross. Ah, oh, dudes are weird. They, like, you have to be, like... You have to be a special kind of fucking bored in like a really shitty, uh, uh, dumpy fucking town with nothing else going on to like just make up something as gross as this. It's pretty fucking. It's it's nasty. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. yeah. I'm like a superhero, man. I I help this this little girl on the bus. I help these old ladies. I was yeah. in jail. I beat a pedophile there, man. You know. They don't need that shit. Yeah. See, yeah. I, have, I have some. There it is. What is it? Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Say it isn't so! Oh no! Oh, oh God! 
Jesus Christ. Every who... accusation is always a fucking confession. Uh, it dude. happens every, a lot. Every single fucking time, man. Yeah, it's I, so gross. I want to hear exactly what he said. Like, fuck, fuck, dude. You want to fucking fuck something? Fucking find a toilet paper roll and some fucking lubrication. <laughs> fuck. Yeah, sure. Good, man. Yeah, sure. Leave the children alone. They have a life to live in. A, I have friends proper who... Proper way to grow up. They don't need that shit. See, yeah. I, have, I have some friends who have done time in prison for fucking... They have to register as a sex offender. But I know for a motherfucking fact that the reason they're my friend is because I know for a fact that they're not going to do that. That dude was like six foot five. Billy Cobra looks like a roadie yeah. before he started the duster in the massive of alcohol. Yeah, a roadie. Yeah, he could be lifting some amplifiers onto a stage. Definitely. Sure, sure. Yeah, I could see that. I could definitely see that. You know my buddy Carl, that fat dude? Yeah. Yeah, he was in fucking prison for sexual sexually molesting a chick a little girl is what they had said a chick a little girl huh two different a things chick, a she, little girl. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah two different yeah. things she fucking wanted it and a chick a little you know, girl she had a fucking fake id and everything and he got fucking set up so and i yeah. told him when he's all like man i'll be your friend man and i was like set well up. if you're a fucking registered sex offender i see you touch a little kid in front of me dude i'm gonna fucking knock your ass out Oh. I know a guy who had to register as a sex offender because he was peeing in public. You know, in in Ohio, it's like indecent exposure in some yeah, towns. Sure. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, that yeah. is bullshit to like have to be on a registry for that just because you were like peeing in an alley or something. Yeah, yeah, that's bullshit. It'd be that's one thing if you were like jerking off or something like that, but if you're literally just like in a corner peeing somewhere and you don't have a bathroom to go to. I think that's fucked up. As someone who has to pee, like, constantly. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, and he has not ever done it since. Yeah. A lot of bullying. And there's a lot of fucking bullies in schools nowadays, man. And I remember when I was in high school after... Yeah, the registry says what it's for, but it says indecent exposure. And that could mean anything from, like, you're peeing in an alley to, like, you're jerking off in front of people in public. It's just right. indecent exposure. It could be like any exposure. I was fucking diagnosed with grand mal seizure disorder with epilepsy. Fucking, I went to school one day and had a fucking seizure at school. And all these other kids fucking started, oh, hey, look, it's the four-eyed worm. I was going to say. Fucking four-eyed worm because they seen me have a fucking seizure. The moral to the story is, is maybe that... I love the Decepticon the camo funded. hat. <laughs> In late April, Josh had some sad news. He broke his beloved floral chair after punching a hole in it. Everything nice Josh has, he gets angry and breaks. That's what happened to Fun, fun Size Felicia. Have you uh, seen those DMs? Have you seen the DMs? I feel like we can't just cheapen the the saga of Fun Size Felicia by just by just stating it quite like that because what happened to Fun Size Felicia was like some serial killer shit. It was fucking nuts. Have you seen the DMs of it? Right uh, here. The leaked no, the leaked so. Cobra DMs about Fun Size Felicia. La what happened? Lost a sex doll, no big deal. What? How does one lose a sex doll? It's not that small. I no longer have fun science Felicia. She's no more. I cut her up into pieces. Because? Show me. I can't. She's in the dump cut up. Why? I have anger issues towards women for rejecting me, so I took it out on a sex doll. What the fuck? I mean, that's not even that serious. Do you think people are going to keep buying you I've sex dolls? I've got less than a month till I get 35. Oh. Hope oh. I look as good as Jeff when I am in my 40s. Oh. Happy early birthday, <laughs> Jeff. Yay! 35? Yeah. You gonna run for president? Hey, I love... I, look, Dragon of the West is a, is an absolute Chad. I've hung out with Dragon of the West in real life. Oh, yeah? Great guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We hung out in real life. Great fucking dude. An absolute fucking sweetie pie. And remembered my birthday. My birthday is on the 3rd. Uh, of of April. Of April. So thank you, buddy. You I know really Adams is on the fourteenth. I know, I yeah. know, I do know that actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Uh so thank you, buddy. That's very sweet of you. Um uh so that's a pretty psychotic sh uh, thank you, Dragon Lewis. That's a pretty psychotic shit, man. No, they won't know it's psychotic. So why do it? You should get a therapist. 
I want a therapist. I like better know a psychotic piece of shit. I fantasize about murdering women and fucking their corpse. I hope I these are fake. No, I know better. What are you kidding me? You need a psych evaluation. I hope this. Are, I <laughs> hope these are fake. They could be fake, but they could also be real. Okay, but if they're if they're real, and and this is some real talk, if they're real. This is just somebody who is dealing with some shit and just venting. And, like, I feel like, and, and this is one of the things that, like, kind of gets to me about, like, internet fame and that kind of shit, which is uh, there's every possibility that what's going on is, I like... I remembered because it's also my birthday. More money for the tip uh, train. Uh, uh, Thank yeah, you so much. Fuck if me. you're fucking a sex doll, that means you're fucking something that's not alive, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, or yeah, yeah. human. Like, <laughs> what what I'm trying to what I'm trying to say though is like you know there's there's this this whole thing of like uh, you're you're allowed in the right kind of company, the right kind of friend group, to be able to say some pretty wild, wild, crazy shit. You know, like you you're allowed to vent. It's important to like have the ability to just run your fucking mouth and get it out of your system. And it's a really good thing when you have a friend group that is, is willing to like support you through a bad fucking time. And, you know, like having somebody like that you're, you're talking to in confidence, just leak that kind of shit is pretty fucked up. So I, I'm not going to take this as very serious. This, this to me, this to me sounds like Cobes is just venting like a motherfucker and just trying to like get it out of his system, you know what I mean? And, and I, I, I don't be. know. There, there's a lot of things that I have texted in the past when I was hurt and I was in like a really bad place. That if somebody leaked online, I would look like the oh, biggest we, piece of shit. We all on. have our moments. It just right. so happened mine was in the Portland video. <laughs> that fucking bitch. <laughs> Which, by the way, you can see if you yep. sign up at the right level of Patreon. Yeah. But, you can check out it. I love uh, the, the preview of it on Patreon. It's when we're, I, I, I made like a 30 second preview where okay. we're like, we're on the the max line, and the woman's like, ah, like screaming. And oh, you like look at me like, and then they start fighting, and that's where it ends. So you can see yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, you cut out you cut out the the point where I say world star. World star. Uh, There's a part where you're like, ready, fight. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But but yeah, I mean, I think my point is still pretty salient though. Is like you know, uh, we we all sometimes need a point where we get to vent and like just run our fucking mouths, you know. And it, it's like it's it's good for us mentally to be able to just. Talk some shit. Nobody's going to judge you for it. And uh, unfortunately, because of like the, the place that Josh exists online, you can't really do that safely. And that sucks. That sucks. You know, it's too bad. How well, much here was seeing its final day. I was angry at something else. And I punched a hole in the top cushion. And my fist broke through. And... And um, it was pretty much unsavable at this point, so I had to get rid of it. Over trimmed my goatee, so I had to shave it all off again. I'm so good at guitar, it's a wonder I'm not swimming in pussy right now. I'm just saying. I, I'm okay, now all of a sudden he's back to like his playing style. Stay on the head. You think you're so cute. Can Cobra JSF. JSF. <laughs> yep. True. So true. Josh ended up sitting on his guitar case until he was gifted another chair by a friend a week later. He was sitting on a guitar case. It's a computer chair that he has now. What is up, YouTube? So if you see for yourself that I got a uh, replacement chair, it's got studs in the arms, and both arms have a hole in them on either side right here. Kind of like your current chair. And the uh, 
right arm is a little wobbly. Ooh. There we go. You're gonna... I just pushed it back into place. There we go. Is he going to break Fix it? Fix that issue. Well, the right arm was just, wobbly, he but... He doesn't have any more. We know that. Oh, and popped it back into place. There we go. In late April, Josh began appearing on a small podcast called Keepercast. Wow. I had no idea about this. And he was paid $20 per appearance. Oh, my God. He could make so much more money now. By the yeah. host, Topher. King Cobra and Cottonmouth here. We're Hello. About, we're about to be on Keepercast here in a bit. This is Mr. Goat, a.k.a. Cottonmouth, coming at you with Keepercast. Cherry Pop Tobacco and Keepercast. So yeah, I'll provide the link while this video uploads to YouTube, and we'll catch you later. Good evening and welcome, Tubes and Keepercast. An opening song Dudes, dedicated... just tolerating a broken chair is classic ADHD. Ask me how I know. <laughs> oh man, this chair is kind of rickety. Uh, you, when you were here, Jeff, you said we needed to Allen wrench some of these chairs in in this room. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they they get a little loose. To keeper cast, keeper cast, keeper cast. We are the keeper cast. Keepers of what a great theme song. Internet keeper cast, keeper cast. This is our podcast. What a great That's intro. A good, uh, theme song. Welcome this guy's wearing a Detroit Lions jersey. Keeper cast. Episode Incredible. two. Uh... Hey. Hey, what up? Oh, oh fun-size fun Felicia. Size, uh, yeah, fun-size yeah, fun size fun Felicia. Fun. Yeah. And then yeah, <laughs> you, kiss, you kissed her so good her hair fell out. <laughs> I, was doing that. I was doing that for comedic effect really that was it was funny man keep uh, or cast um, yeah so tell me a little bit about what happened to the to the first doll well the first doll wasn't shipped properly there was a huge hole in the box and like one of the fingers was like practically falling off oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I fucked it to death. No. All I gotta say, all I gotta say is when I walked here, like when that happened, that day happened, like uh -huh. in the fucking dumpster. At first, before like people put the trash in there, like it looked like someone just like fucking mutilated a person. <laughs> <laughs> there was like a leg over there, an arm over there, a head just chilling. Yeah, thanks for having me on your show, man. Later, yeah, man. Later. Bye, bye. Oh boy. My dude, that last oh, dude's video is so washed out. It looks like he's filming in a hot boxed car. <laughs> Keep and, uh, or cast. So, so Josh jumped in and then immediately just jumped out. He's like, "Hey, thanks a lot, but I'm thanks for the twenty bucks." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. That's what he was. Well, I'm saying that's what he was doing. That's fucking wild. Because he was paid man. twenty bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nuts. <laughs> There's a wonderful human animal bondage that should be made legal. Oh, yeah. This dude was, I remember, this dude was like the furry guy. Is this the dude the Stephanie hook up with, hooked up with? There was like a weird furry guy that one of Cobra's girlfriends ended up hooking up with. No, it wasn't this dude. No way. Can someone, is, is there anyone out there that's very familiar with the Cobra lore? They didn't hook that's, up. That's, okay, that's he hit much. on her. Okay, thank you. I I am not a Cobra historian. This is before I started watching him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is this is this is a lot for me to even fucking. Take. This is this like is 2017, man. Like that. That yeah, was a yeah. crazy time. To gay marriage or same sex marriage. In early May, Josh announced on Facebook that he was starting his new job soon and also made a video talking I think that was on my birthday about his new job alongside his new colleague, Alex Campbell. I got a job. I got a job ten dollars an hour washing dishes. Wow, ten dollars an hour. That's so sad. Okay, dude. That's money, baby. That's money. I, I bet you anything Wyoming is uh, national minimum wage, which is so bad.
Yeah, it's 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 pretty abominable. Yep. Hell yeah. Hell so yeah. I'm gonna get my shotgun fixed, among other things. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> you trolls. You try to fucking ruin my life. You knock me down a couple pegs, but I get the fuck back up. There you go. Sure. I get knocked down, but I'm an upgrade, and I'm never going to get me down. I get knocked down. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh. Fuck you, yeah, Obes. Do it, dude. Pissing the night away. Give a shout out to my buddy, Alex. I, every time I hear pissing the night away, it reminds me of how I have to get up to go to the bathroom three or four times a night. Because we're old. <laughs> Alex Campbell, who helped me get this job, bro. bro. Thank you, bro, for helping me get this job. My dad said as soon as I get a job, he's going to give me back my debt. Someone said it was Summer? I He did have another girlfriend, I think Summer. I don't card. know. So I'll have the money for my, all the debit cards for my account again. Josh wouldn't say where he worked. But it was revealed quite quickly that he was working as a dishwasher at the office bar and grill. Josh almost immediately got a crush on a waitress named Danny and also began having issues with the head chef. Head chefs don't fuck around. True. They True. do not. Yeah. I love, I love, like, this is almost 10 years ago. And do you see the guy that's next to the head chef? Like, working in a kitchen was one of the few jobs you could get where you could be, like, tattooed and have super huge stretched earlobes like this guy does. True. A yeah, lot of yeah, people yeah. think, I have big earlobes. This dude's you could put your fist through almost. <laughs> yeah, yeah? Yeah. A woman yeah, sure. named Melissa. On Mother's Day, Josh wished his biological mother, Laura, a happy Mother's Day. Oh, my God. This is sick. Kind of sick. Almighty thunder. By the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We do three shows a week. Storm, come forth to me on this video I film on my phone. Almighty thunder pounding outside. He's doing a spell. Strike for me loud on camera, please. Oh. You're a witnessing real magic, you two. I'm taking my magic wand. Over I'm pointing it. A lazy eye. He secretly parted Iguana. <laughs> well, he can look in two directions at the same time. He should be, he could be the world's greatest sniper because he can put one eye on the scope and put the other eye like and watch his back while he's looking at the scope. True, true, yeah. absolutely. My window. Almighty Thunder Flash. Let's turn the light off so we can see it, YouTube. Okay, watch this, YouTube. Got the King Cobra playing with thunder and lightning because I can. Yeah. Almighty thunder. Almighty I got the King Cobra pointing at my window. Are you watching this shit, YouTube? You see that? Huh? Boom. Boom. Thunder come forth. Boom. Oh. Ha! Oh. oh. Black smoke to light my green fire. Or whatever it is. Dude. Oh no, he's back! He's back! He's back! Liquid Cobes! His head got too big. They made his head too big. <laughs> He's resurrected! In early May, Josh posted on Facebook that King Cobra with a K was back alive and was on keeping making fun of him. Shortly after King Cobra with a K. This is on so good. I, I didn't know he came back. He claims to be a wizard, but he casts spells like a druid. There's my little mm -hmm. doggy with True. its little fuck toy. Do you see my little doggy humping the shit out of him? 
this little toy. <laughs> Have you ever actually seen that in person? It's hilarious. Yeah, no, no. yeah, yeah. 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 Like a couple of times when I was at your house, like uh, you were like, "Hey, check this out," and like tossed down every. Uh, it works one hundred percent of the time. If I just it throw it on the ground, it's, it's crazy too because it, it, it's it's the girl. She's a girl. Yeah, yeah. She's a girl, yeah, and she humps it she's like a boy. Great. She's a girl, but she's got her little stuffy, and you like toss it down, and she's just like, and the and the toy is the same size as her because she's only like two pounds, so she'll yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. she makes Fox a little thing. noise when she's doing it too. It's like, eh, 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 yeah, like it's that. So cute, it's yep. so ridiculously cute. I and you know what? Can I? I know we're talking about Cobra and everything like this, but I need to derail for one second. I hate little dogs. I was Bad cured form, of Jeff. my. I no no but I was cured of my hatred of little dogs by your dogs. I love your fucking dogs. I fucking despised little dogs before the first time I came and hung out at your house and I after that I'm like maybe I need a little dog. They're little so do- great. Little dogs are do- just dogs. They're just like compact. They're just small. Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah. like pocket sized little little fucking poochers, you yeah, know? Like yeah. it's great. Keep it, yeah, yeah. So, Josh, medic- medic- you, have, you have medicinal little dogs, is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, my little dog. Yeah, I. She's my emotional support animal. End up making a video with Alex Campbell, who now dubbed himself Warlord, and proved to his fans that he was the real King Cobra. And when I watched the newest episode of Keeper Cast, I noticed that the phony King Cobra decided to make an appearance. This motherfucker is so delusional. I would like to introduce a good friend of mine, Warlord Campbell. Oh, God. He's been a friend of mine. Is he just a friend, Cobra? Are you sure he's just a friend? (laughs) (laughs) friend. You say he's just a friend. Oh, oh, you. All right. For like three years. What is good, you two? I don't give a fuck. This is bullshit. A lot of bullshit. I don't, I don't care. He kind of gives me Andy Dick vibes. Like, he's going to be like, I don't give a fuck. This is bullshit. Now, excuse me while I blow Cobra during this I love- live stream. <laughs> yeah, I love that he's wearing, like, digital camo fatigues yep. and shit, too. That but- is Casper chic right there. It is. It is. That's how you get the pussy. Got to wear your, your digital camo. Are you in the army? Nah. Oh, that's okay. Whatever. Just keep them on. I don't give a fuck. That's great. My name isn't Warlord for nothing. Don't like me? Don't like my fucking... That is... Okay, this is what we call meth head... <laughs> like, like, meth head ripped is what this is. Right, right. First of all, it's meth head ripped, which is not ripped. It's dehydrated. And that's... What has he got? Like, Vaporeon? What is that? Is that an EV I, tattoo? I think. I'm fucking intimidated, dude. I'm intimidated. Torchic, I'll kiss you in the face with it. If not... I got brothers everywhere. Right? Because we're warriors. The phony King Cobra is such a delusional fucking retard. The phony King Cobra... He's so mad about it. ...accused one of my good friends of smoking spice, and he doesn't, obviously. Like, this dude's clueless, and eventually the phony King Cobra JFS is going to get what's coming to him, and he's going to rue the day he made fun of me. Oh, I want to interject here, YouTube. I work in a dish pit. I work in a dish pit with the real... A dish pit? Yeah, he's a a, a dish dog. He washes dishes at a restaurant. I've never heard of it referred to as a dish pit. I've heard of people being a dishwasher. A dish pit. No, 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 no. Like, 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 real talk when you're working in a in a kitchen... Uh, if you want to get into like a decent uh, kitchen in some places where there's uh, not a shortage of manpower, you have to start out and you're a fucking dish dog. You're in the fucking dish pit. You eat shit. You fucking you chew that shit up and you deal with it for like, I don't know, like three months. And then they start to there's put you on the more fucking money pot. So we can watch the clip again. Side note, I'm training a puppy German Shepherd. I love her, but Adorable. she's a nightmare. She accidentally oh. headbutted me in the balls when I was heading oh. out to work. So oh. much energy. Like, because oh. a, a shepherd is a working dog, so they need so much energy. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, uh, like a herding breed. It's tough, dude. Yeah. Um, like, it, 
any kind of like high energy dog and whatnot. And they're you're not big and they're and, and they have hip problems. So when they get older, it's really like uh, my my first dog was a shepherd mix and she had so much energy. I remember like I used to just, you know, like you're laying there with your dog face to face. She would just like, boom, hit me in the face oh, yeah. all, all the they're, time. And I'd be like, oh, like, yep. Yeah. Yeah. They punch. They, they shepherd. Yep. Punch. They will yep. punch fucking face and then her and then she got old and her body started to break down it was so sad yeah. she couldn't walk anymore i used to have to carry her everywhere it's but I, I will i will say though like if anybody out there just randomly because this, this is just a thing that i learned from like working in a lot of kitchens um if you don't live in a place that doesn't have like a, a like a shortage of workers and they need people to work don't fucking sell yourself out and go and just work in a dish pit and don't let people treat you like garbage. The only time you should ever have to suffer through being a dish dog at a dish pit is if it's at a restaurant that you really want to work at. Because there's lots of restaurants that you can go and you can like start and they will not actually treat you like a piece of shit. But if you try and get a job starting out in a nice restaurant... They'll treat you like an absolute fucking scumbag. The only restaurant work I've ever done is fast food. Uh, I, and I oh. worked uh, I worked in a zoo. I worked in what was basically a fast food restaurant in a zoo. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Like, we made what a, what was basically, like, fast food, but it was part of, like, the- it was a restaurant in a zoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I, I get what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, I've, I've worked in a lot of kitchens, a lot. King Cobra, and if you and by in- the way, just answering a question in the in the YouTube chat. Yes, uh, the chat on screen is a Patreon chat. Minimum is one dollar, and you can be in that that chat. All you got to do is sign up one dollar on Patreon, and that gets you the chat. That's like the minimum. Uh, and uh, that's that's how that's how I start paying attention to you, and then we get to flirt. <laughs> that dish pit. I ain't never seen you there before. So seriously, if you work there, we'll step outside. A lot of the waitresses prefer me over the head dishwasher who's been there for 13 years because I go in there, I get my shit done. After Josh's video response, Josh and Warlord smoke some weed. Okay, like he was, okay. So he had a code word for smoking weed. He was like, I'm going to Colorado, but then he's showing like nugs. Oh yeah, yeah. <sighs> We I'm used not, to I, I, when when we you know, in the I don't want to know how much I smoke weed, but by the way, here's a fat nug I'm about to smoke. In the early days of DP, when we were still living in Ohio, we uh we used to say, "Oh, we're smoking tobacco. We're smoking." We used to say, "Perfectly legal tobacco," and we'd be like, "Pass me that perfectly legal tobacco cigarette," and we'd be like smoking it. <laughs> and you know what? Law enforcement was totally fooled. Totally fooled. They had no idea. You know what, though? I got, when I was like 23, 24. No, 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 no. Check this out. When I was 23, 24 years old, I got busted for weed. And that's like the only yeah, thing I have. Where? where were you? In Ohio. I know, but where were you? Like, where in Ohio? Um, I was in a town called Bowling Green, Ohio, which is a small it's a small town, but it like it has a big university, and the way the local cops there make their money is they give college kids DUIs and tickets for like weed and exactly. shit like that. Exactly. And where in town were you when you got popped for weed? I was driving through camp because I lived right near campus, so I was driving through camp. I I was in a band at the time, and I had a show that night in Toledo, where I grew up. But I had to drive back to Bowling Green, where I lived, and I and I and my car, my whole car smelled like weed. But but the thing was, was that I had a headlight out, and that's why they pulled me over. But then when they pulled me over, they're like, "It smells Uh like weed in your car," and then I was like. And at that point, I was like, go ahead. It, it was a like the cop was perfectly fine. Like, you know what I mean? Like he he like searched my car and everything and was like, OK, you're you're fine. Like, here's a ticket. You got to go to court, like whatever. But I had to go to court and like they were it, it's it's a long fee. It was a long fiasco. 
It's so dumb. I think now I could probably get that taken off my record. That that still haunts me till this day. That's the one like criminal charge I ever had in my life. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, and that, and that's kind of like the the thing too that I I I, I totally noticed after a while was like. Uh, it, like as, as long as you, you were confining it to like a very specific, you know, like if you're smoking weed at your house, nobody's ever going to bust. Uh, you in, in Ohio, they might, well, they, it, Ohio 20 years ago, they might have. You think so? Yes. 20 years ago. Yes. Really? Yes. That's crazy. Were they hurting for tax dollars that bad that they I just that? think it was still stuck in the dark ages. You know what I mean? Like. It was the beginning of the 21st century, but they were still like stuck in the 20th century. You know, Dude, you know, what's so you know, what's so fucking crazy right now is uh, so Oregon, we we decriminalized all fucking drugs, all drugs, yeah. all drugs. They did it here, too, but they got rid of it pretty quick. Right, right, right. And it has actually been like legit fucking Awesome. They're changing that though. I watched a news story on my stream yesterday. That's, that's, what, that's what I'm getting to is like, so it has had zero effect on everybody that lives here. Everybody who owns property or whatever and all these bougie motherfuckers, it has had zero effect on them. It has had no effect on them. It has changed literally fucking nothing. But because there are problems that existed before we decriminalize drugs, then you have uh, a small subset of people who are like, well, we have this problem and it's because we decriminalize drugs, which is not true. So it's passed uh, our House of Representatives. It's going to the Senate uh, to see if it's going to get signed. And then we'll see if the governor is going to sign it, which I don't think she will. I don't think she but will. Your governor seems pretty on she's point. very fucking progressive. And, and the thing is, too, like, uh, with Oregon, Oregon's a really weird situation. So we we had this um, this really progressive governor. I'm gonna let you after- explain this really quick. I have to pee yeah, 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 yeah. so yeah, yeah. bad right yeah, now. Big, pull me big, pull me so, big. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll do it. Uh, big give me up. just a second here. Big me up, motherfucker. Big I'll me up. I'll big you up. I'll big you up, Jeff. Big Hold me, on. Uh, let's big, see. So, big my ass. Give up. Give me just a second. All so right. big. There you go. I'm so big right now. Uh, no, so we um, we have this governor, uh, Governor Kitzhopper, and uh, he was okay. He was all right. He was all right. He was a uh, um, uh, meandering career politician, kind of boring. Uh, and then as in, in any good man in his late 70s who's been in politics for over 30 fucking years – it came out that he's a bit of a pervert and was just sowing fucking seeds of his bunk all over the fucking place, all over the state, just shooting fucking sperm everywhere, right? And uh, obviously that means that he had to just get out uh, with his pension intact, of course. <laughs> We're not savages, all right? Uh, so he has to uh, retire in disgrace, by which I mean retire and be rich until he dies, whatever. Um, so we get this new uh, governor in, and her name was Kate Brown. And Kate Brown fucking sucked. She was awful, absolutely awful. She was great on a lot of reasons, but terrible on a lot of other reasons. And she really didn't know what the fuck she was doing. But randomly, her lieutenant underneath her, uh, her name is Tina Kotek, was set to, like, take over the governorship when when Kate Brown, like, fucked off and left. And everybody thought that she would be kind of more the same. Actually, based. Based as fuck. Super fucking cool. Tina Kotek has been fucking awesome for this state. Even my my conservative friends, uh, which I have two, uh, <laughs> are like, she's not that bad. Actually, she's pretty fucking good. Uh, like, great, great shape. Great fucking shape. So, Oregon 
having been uh, an embarrassment of a state for a really long time is actually in really good shape. We've got a, a very progressive governor who's not a fucking lunatic, and it's been uh, it's been pretty cool. And yeah. I hope, I hope, I hope she doesn't go with the status quo, trying to like recriminalize drugs. Because what a fucking nightmare, dude! What a nightmare! There's no reason for us to go back to how things were. Just breaking up families, destroying people's fucking lives because of drugs. Stupid. Absolutely stupid. That's not how you deal with drugs. By the That's way, I, I, I want to point out, before we get back into the Cobra stuff, that that little brush with the law. That Okay. I mean, we could. I mean, you know, we, we still have time. But, but I, I, I do want to point out, that little brush with the law. I had yeah. to plead... So I had to get a lawyer. I had to go to court and get a lawyer. And if my lawyer kind of like worked the thing where I got like a plea deal because it, it, my charge was a drug charge in an Ohio at the time. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's still this way. If you got a drug charge, you lost your driver's license. I don't know if you just heard that, Jeff, but OK, he's he's having a smoke. I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you if you get a drug charge, you lose your driver's license for six months. Yeah. No. So, fucking way. Are you yes, serious? Yes. So but I'm 23 years old. There's no public transit where I lived. Like you need a car to get to work. And if you yeah. if if you were found guilty of a drug charge, you lose your dr- driver's license for six months. So my my lawyer got me a plea deal to to move it to disorderly conduct. And I pled no contest to it, and I had to, like, go and pay, at the time, $300, which was, like, a fortune to me, to pay for my own drug test to piss clean. And then, and and I'll tell you, till this day, I still have to, like, report that shit. Like, I tried to get an apartment, like, you know, 10 years ago, and they were like, oh, you got a drug charge, so... We need like an extra like five hundred dollars deposit, and then like, fucking... yes, Are you serious? it still happens. I, uh, like five years ago, I applied for a federal loan. I had to like report all of that shit on my federal loan. I, I applied for a federal business loan, and I had okay, to like, so, yeah. So so back up on this, like like, did you have to pay for your own piss test? Yes, they made okay. me pay for it. And if and if I would have failed it, I would have been convicted of a of like a drug offense. First of all, first of all, there's a fucking problem that we're dealing with right here, right now, on the base level of like like pure fucking logic. There's a fucking problem. You, a citizen, going about your day, doing whatever the fuck it is that you're gonna do. Hello, I'm a citizen. I'm going to work. I'm paying bills. Blah 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 blah. And somebody says, "Hey, druggy, you're a druggy." And we think you're a druggie, and we need to test that you're a druggie. And you say, all right, prove it. Okay, but you have to pay. What? Yeah, yeah, what? The, the judge Absolutely. was like, the judge was like, you know, we'll, we'll, no. the judge was like, we'll make it a, a instead of like a, like a third degree misdemeanor, we'll make it a minor misdemeanor and not a drug charge, but you've got to pee clean. In like two you weeks, I had to Dude, pay for fuck it. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. That's cr- okay. Like, I, I fine if if. And the at the time, like, that much money was like that. It, it might it was it might as well have been like ten thousand dollars at that no, point. No, no, to no, 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 no. This, this what's so fucked up about this is like you as a private citizen, you, me, everybody out there watching right now as a private citizen, our concerns should be. Our labor, our families, our bills, our existence. That's what we worry about. That's what we have. That's our job. And what we do on top of that is we pay incrementally into the coffers to pay for our society. That's what we do. That's it. That's it. Now, I want to point out your mom. We do not have to pay for our own persecution where somebody decides that they want to test you. I had to pay a private business for it. Uh, you, you, your up. mom in the chat says, and you took the deal. Yeah, I took the deal because I wouldn't have been able to drive to work and I would have lost my job and then my house 
like after that. I'm going to be totally honest with you. This makes me want to burn down a courthouse. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm not even fucking around. This makes me want to burn down a fucking yep. courthouse because that's fucked up. Yep. That is fucked up. Yeah, it was it's crazy traumatic. Up. Like I was I was a I was really young at the time. It was traumatic as hell. You know, and then like any time after that, if I had weed on me and there was like a cop, I, like if I was driving home from my drug dealer's house because I had to buy weed from a drug dealer who also sold like heroin and shit because like, yep. I, yeah, right. like if I saw if I saw a cop, I would almost have like a panic attack every time. Think about, think about this, like and this is something that it's a mental exercise that I do with other people sometimes. And, and it's, it's when we talk about how we interact with the government. Right. Uh, and it's how do we feel like the power imbalance is when we talk about the government versus us and what should be the case with the government and us is a case of mutual exchange. That's what should happen. We are private citizens. We have our own autonomy, our own property, and we should interact with the government as equals, right? So the idea that the government think of the government, think of the government instead as like a, an unwanted guest, right? And they come into your house and you have to deal with them. Unfortunately, an unwanted guest comes in and they say, I think you're on drugs. And you go, why are you in my house? What the fuck? Maybe I'm on drugs. Maybe I'm not. None of your fucking business. And they say, I think you're on drugs and I want to prove it. And you're like, OK, well, are you going to pay? And they're like, no. You're going to pay. Does this seem unreasonable? Yes, it does. It's completely unreasonable. Someone is literally violating your privacy, your sanctity, your bodily autonomy, and forcing you to pay the bill. That is fucked up. That is fucking insane. Yep. That's insane to me. Yeah. That should be insane. That should be insane to a liberal to a leftist, to a conservative, to anybody that a government can come in and force you not only necessarily to be tested, but to make you pay for it. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah I had uh, savings bonds that uh, an older relative had given me that I had to cash in to pay for uh, my P test. This is this is fucking insane to me. I'm losing my fucking mind. <laughs> Sorry. You know what though? We do have to watch a little more of this because uh Liquid Coves comes back as fun size Felicia. Wait, Simple Country is saying it was because it was part of the plea deal. Did you allow them to do this to you? Well, I I had I had two choices. Well, how old how old were you? I was 23. Matt, you know, Technically, legally, you can sign off on your rights on that, but you know that's mm, still. I don't like it. I don't like it. I th you know what? I I think that the government should not be allowed to act predatorily. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I was told that I would be convicted if I if I you know pled not guilty. And, of course and of a drug crime, I would lose my driver's license for for six months. Well, they're not they're not losing anything by telling you that that you're definitely going to go to jail. They no, 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 no. I wouldn't have went to jail. I wouldn't. I would not have went to jail. I would have lost my license for six months, and I would have had like a right, like right. a like a mid tier degree misdemeanor on my record. Right, 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 right. There was no jail. I, like I was, they were not because it was a first offense. I had a perfectly clean record before that. So you know what you, you know what I like. But yes, this, yeah, they I'll, weren't gonna pay. There, it was non-negotiable. If they were like, "Hey, you can you can piss clean in two weeks," they gave me two weeks, which is actually good because all I had to do was not do any weed for two weeks, and I would have been and I was fine. Which I, yeah. I I'm pretty sure they're aware of that. But then, uh, but then, yeah, they, there was it was non-negotiable. If I was taking that route. I would have I had to I had to pay for it myself. I couldn't have been like, well, will you pay for it, your honor? That it wasn't going to go that way. Right, it, right, right, right. No, I get, I get what you're saying. Uh, look, I'll I'll just I'll encapsulate. And I didn't plead what, guilty. What, 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 I pled no contest, which technically isn't guilty. 
that's that's fair. I'm I'm look, all I'm gonna do is that at the end of this conversation, before we go back to Cobra, I'm gonna encapsulate my entire feelings with this by simply saying every cop in Ohio can literally suck my fucking dick. Okay? That's how I feel about it. And it's not fair. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. You should have been my lawyer. I would have got you off clean, baby. Predicted. Josh lied about melting fun size. Oh, here it is right here. Oh, yeah. Hold on. We got to go back a little bit because this is like the end of the fun size Felicia saga. You going for a smoke, Jeff? Oh, a part of me feels like that's karma for destroying the. Oh, my God. I skipped over such a good part telling my sob story about sorry about that YouTube uh, I'm sick and tired of it I'm Come trying to fucking film a video for YouTube and I gotta drop my fucking phone aggravating well these days you punch the shit out of your phone until it's broken so so would I recommend chocolate Swisher Sweet Cigarellos? The answer is yes. And by the way, I have to clarify this. I didn't even have weed on me. My my car smelled like weed, and I had a pipe that was resonated with weed. And I was, I was charged with uh, possession of paraphernalia. So I didn't even have actual weed with me. I had a pipe that you could tell weed had been smoked in before and actually the paraphernalia charge was worse than if i had had like a little small baggie of weed so think about that adam west passed away <laughs> oh god fucking hiccups you have to excuse me youtube i got the bad case of the hiccups and i wish they go away but it's whatever did you hear what i just said jeff No, uh, I, I forgot to clarify that I actually didn't even have weed with me. I had a pipe that was resonated and I was charged with paraphernalia, which in Ohio at the time was actually a worse charge than possession. Paraphernalia. That's, yep. That's so fucked up, dude. Yep. Um, Adam so West yep. passed away after a short battle with Lakeith. With I can't, you know, if I had a hundred... Don't film a video if you got the hiccups, dude. ...dollars, YouTube, if I had a hundred fucking dollars for every time I got told on YouTube, you suck at guitar, you suck at singing, you're a fat, you're a tranny, you're retarded, Whoa. your videos Whoa. suck, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm straight for one thing. I have high-functioning retardation. So technically, yes, I'm a retard, but not that retarded. I'm goth. I don't know what the fuck this tranny bullshit is about. They see a heterosexual male who's not afraid to be their goth self. And for some odd reason, it makes people jealous. Although Josh was struggling with his rage, he was doing very well at his new job dishwasher. This is leading up to the murder of fun size Felicia. After we get through the Felicia thing, we'll move on to something else. I right, was given right. more hours and eventually hired full time. Josh would post on Facebook that he got a black fidget spinner. No higher charges, such BS. Just because you have a pipe doesn't mean you were going to smoke weed out of it. It, Maybe you it was like it was it was resonated, which means they could tell it had had weed smoked out of it, and my whole car smelled like weed because honestly because. Me and my girlfriend and some of my buddies in my band at the time had all smoked weed in my car earlier that night. And then I had my pipe like in like a compartment in my car. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Because I was I was playing. I was playing a show. Uh, it was funny because I, I grew up in Toledo and all my in in all my friends lived there. But I, I was living in Bowling Green at the time and all of the shows i would play were normally back in toledo so i'd have to go to toledo every time and then drive back at like two in the morning after the bar closed popular with autistic kids around this time 
Josh would also go on to thirst trap and complain about the dating thirst scene. Thirst trap. Josh ended his string of Facebook posts by taking a picture of his bike in a local fountain. In mid-June, Josh treated his sex doll fun-sized Felicia to a black and green wig. Josh's friend Alex Anderson was there to support Josh's most recent <laughs> purchase. That's that's oh, Hitler's cu uh, nephew right there. A couple of weeks later, <laughs> Josh finally decided to give his girl a bath. On June 28th, Josh- No, Danger Dude, Bowling Green, Ohio. There's multiple Bowling Greens. There's a Bowling Green, Kentucky. And look it up, Bowling Green State University. It's a, it's a pretty large university, but it's in a small shit town. Josh sadly announced on Facebook that he had melted his sex doll fun size Felicia by using the wrong soap. Josh quickly moved on from fun size Felicia and a damaged skin, but was completely up for his fans to buy him another one. What's going on with you, YouTube? It's your boy King Cobra back at you with another video. <sighs> Unfortunately, fun size Felicia had a bit of an accident. I washed both her heads and her body with the wrong kind of soap. And the soap I used... Oh, this is his lie, right? This was some yeah. organic, yeah. super heavy-duty antibacterial soap. And basically, it caused the silicone to melt. Uh, there was like a news story written about... Like 80 to 95% of the silicone. Uh, uh, didn't he like report it stolen or something? Or was that a different sex doll? I don't know. Melted off, and this I, happened. It's it's it, it's it's hard to keep them all like straight, you know. Like I I I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Ages ago, man, I was so pissed when it happened. You know, a part of me feels like that's karma for destroying the sex toys that were sent to me. Honestly. <sighs> But what sex doll am I saving up for? Boom, right there. $2,174. Now, that's a lot of fucking money to save up for, but I think- I guarantee you if Fun Size Felicia had never happened and Cobra these days, like 2024 Cobra, saw a dude with a sex doll that was the size of like a, like a 10 year old he would call right. them a sicko he he probably would he probably would i, I, I don't think the uh I, I i don't i think this is uh this is very like context dependent i know, you know? it uh, is i think the end results will definitely be worth it a 10 year old with a boob job basically <laughs> like the uh, weirdest I thing ever. My, uh, the doll video because right now i don't want a sex doll I mean, I have one that I would customize and everything, but sure. right now i got to consider my options. And after that bullshit with Fun Size Felicia, I was just like, man, whatever. Some troll pretending to be my fan calling themselves Viper Dude 90 was like, oh, by the way, I have I four sex dolls, and the best way to clean them is to use heavy-duty antibacterial dish soap. I'm like, all right, thanks for the advice, you know. Why don't you go give fun size Felicia a bath, both her heads and her body. The silicone just melted off completely. Oh my god damn it. Like man, ain't that some bullshit. As everyone predicted, Josh lied about melting fun size Felicia. I wanna know who leaked this. Who is he talking to here? I, I, I'd like to have this authenticated in some way. I I, I would like that as well. And why I, the I fuck like not? Uh, I mean, like, why did they not charge their battery when they took these screenshots? The first one's at 3%. The second one's at 1%. I know. I know. Hold on, though. Hold on, though. The first one is at 3% at 331 a.m., but the second one is at 1% at 328 a.m. Right. Hmm. Right. That is. <sighs> Something about this doesn't add up at all. This is very, very strange. Yeah, I don't know if I like. Well, I don't buy with this at all. Why is it? Sad. I mean, granted, we don't see the date, but if it's in chronological order, shouldn't they have taken the screen? Sh it doesn't like this. This it's not adding up. It's not adding up. All of this seems like a big fucking conspiracy. It, it does kind and of seem that way. 
the last thing you want when you're talking about who fucked and who destroyed what sex doll is is questions. You don't want questions. You want like definitive answers. Who fucked this sex doll? Who destroyed the sex doll? Who carved a face into this? Whatever, it's fine. Who it's carved fine. a face? <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. I don't know. All of this is very... I'm uncomfortable with all of this, but I'm, I'm forced to ask these questions. As an investigative journalist, I need to know, like, like where, 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 did all, where did this story go? Where did it come from? Where did it go? What, where did you go to, Cotton Eye Joe? I don't know. Everything's really fucking batshit right now. He texted Exhumed Visions and confessed that he had desecrated and butchered her down to manageable pieces, perhaps because he's psychotic and has anger issues towards women. King Cobra with a K would return after Fun Size Felicia's demise and made a video with his ah. sex doll, also named Felicia. Yeah. Sure, 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 um, of course. I really didn't want to make this video. <laughs> oh, no! A few things. Oh, no! Oh, no, she I speaks! Really... She speaks. She sounds hot. We need to address. Uh, so, first of all, for those who... She has such a hot mustache. <laughs> ...don't know me. God uh, my it. name is Felicia, other known as... Uh, otherwise known as uh, Fun Size Felicia. And uh, I'm a midget. I'm not a child, I'm a midget, and I work at Hot Topic here it's in Casper. A little, it's a little and, person. God, get it right. It's a little person. Did he buy the contact lenses just for this bit? Because that's some dedication. That's some of course he did. Yes, of course. God damn it. Just I don't want to like, give any uh, of this any credence. This is all fucking terrible. King Cobra, spell with a C who I'll be referring to as Andrew from this point forward, because that's his real name. Um, so Andrew came out and said, I had been melted by soap or something like that. The truth is, you know, I'm obviously not melted. I'm not cut up like a lot of people were speculating. Um, I'm still here. I'm fine. I'm in a safe place right now. I'm, I'm staying with a friend right now. The truth is that I, I you know, I left him. Um, there's only so much tobacco smoke a girl can, uh, you know, inhale in one lifetime. He's tricked me into smoking spice on more than one occasion. Oh, my God. Yeah, Cobra uh, did smoke a lot of spice. Uh, Stephanie yeah, told me that. Yep. Me and Stephanie had some DMs uh, a couple times, and she was like, yeah, he smoked a ton of spice, and he seems... I was like, what's up with him? Like, why does he seem so different? And she was like, oh, he smoked a lot of spice. Oh, God, Matt's here. Is Matt here? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. oh, no. I don't know if Matt's aware of, like, this early lore here. Somebody, uh, so Saw says not one midget wants to be called the little person, Jeff, you boomer. How many little people do you know, Sauce? I mean, I, are you a, a lot of wrestlers that are li sauce. that are dwarfs sauce. like to be called a, a midgets? Yeah, sure, but Sauce might be a little person. I don't know. I don't know. But like, as a non-little person, what I have been told and what I understand is that the right way to to categorize people who are schmoll is as little people. And so I'm just going to fucking do that. If you happen to be a little person and you're like, I want you to call me a midget and pull my hair and, and ask and tell me to say yes, daddy, then fine. I remember uh, back, cool with that. back in the 90s, one of the main uh, whack pack characters on Howard Stern was Hank the Angry Drunken Dwarf, who was yes. this like three foot tall dude who could pound like a whole fifth of liquor like it was nothing surprise oh, surprise like, he's not alive anymore no uh, he's not uh, but yeah. i remember one night uh, i remember yeah. one episode he was a guest on there and this other little little person called in and said like you're you're a disgrace to you know our kind or whatever and hank was like shut up you fucking ugly little midget <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And um, 
One time. Well, actually, on more than one occasion, but you didn't hear it from me. Um, I'd peek out of the closet, and I saw, I saw him. I saw him and Sean. I saw him and Sean the dummy getting a little freaky. But you didn't hear that from me. Oh. What else did I want to say? Hey, uh, I'm going to make some He's got three cigarettes hanging out of his and, mouth. Uh, <laughs> some hot pockets. So this yeah. is good trolling. I don't care. Like, people were criticizing oh, really? it. It's pretty good. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. It's creative. I'm making a video. Do you want to say something? Yeah, uh, to the, uh, imposter King Cobra, um, I just wanted to let you know that, um, you know, this is what happens when you don't treat your sexy silicon goddess with the respect that a woman deserves. And now I'm going to show her what a real King Cobra looks like. <laughs> Most definitely what's up. Josh's feud with King Cobra came to blows on a live episode of Keeper Oh Cat. my god. The host Topher ended he up got them both on. winning this confrontation by not instructing the... Josh how to oh, use no. Google Hangouts. Oh, no. Although the confrontation was good, the delay made the fight frustrating, and the host Topher was to blame. That's what's up! What's good? All right. Uh, imposter, hello. Oh, there's lag on the video. Yeah, we can hear you. Fucking me up. And anybody who was yeah, he's doing he's doing two separate Facebook Messenger calls through him. So they're both like he's the central conduit instead of like back then it was Google Hangouts. He could have easily have done a Google Hangout. Hold me on YouTube so long enough. We're right here. This is great. Enough knows about my symbol right here. Yeah. And then they also know about the tattoo that I got done at Black Sunday Tattoo Parlor. That's his best tattoo. Top off this delicious drink combination. That looks like shit. We now have the sixth and final ingredient, which is whipped cream, too. And now we got our super King Cobra Deluxe Angel Mega drink. Quite the bombshell. So you're implying you are the true father of Scotty's baby. Yes. What do you think about that, Josh? Uh, I think he's full of shit because I know for a fact he's not. I was there for the nine months. I was there when they fucked. Hanging out with Tina and Scotty while Tina was pregnant with Scotty. I caught his sperm. His kid. Okay. And, uh, I was there when Tina posted pictures on Facebook. Okay. He wasn't there that one magical night. Obviously not, no, but let me uh, get my guitar ready and then take a screw it, little man. Take a couple of hits off my guitar. I don't know if two minutes is it. fast enough for him to learn how to shred. Ha! Josh's friend is a spice head, so I'm not too worried about what he thinks. A boot. That dude, this dude is totally no, actually, Canadian. My friend Jeremy is not a spice head, he's never touched it. He said I think the imposter King Cobra smells spice it. on his mom's vagina. Oh! oh Sick no. Cobra burn! Oh! oh. Damn, dude! Oh, wow! Your turn! Is that he, he's, already, he's already going, he's already going. <laughs> wow, imposter, imposter. How about I cut his dick off and, uh,. Shove it up, homeboy Scotty's ass. Scotty's ass. From if he lays a hand on Scotty, I will get involved in this. So and who's this guy? Bye. Hold on, hold on, guys. I don't know. I'm STD free, so go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, okay. The real King Cobra on the left oh there. Who? Why has this imposter been allowed to deteriorate in front of all of our eyes when the real Cobes has been silent for so long? Damn. Damn. I love the shit where, where he, like, blew his own head up and then, like, months later, like, was resurrected. That was so good. That's so good, dude. That's Yo, so Sean, amazing. Hey, what's up? Okay, after this part where they have their little confrontation, we're done. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Hey Josh. Hey Josh. What? The second that you 
touch the tip of your wand, the imposter started shaking and hung up the call. Whoa. That's because he can't handle the fact that I'm the real Cobra. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good, dude. It's so good. <laughs> well, me for him. Okay, so I have to be honest. Like with the whole magic thing, I have been kind of yeah skeptical, but uh, that was weird to say the least. His his wand looks like a limp candle. Yeah, sorry for the technical difficulties, but uh, I think that this guy's always wearing Detroit shit. Is he a Michigani? Made it more fun. I think it was really funny. Uh... Shortly after this confrontation, Clint with a K announced that King Cobra with a K had passed away. Oh, oh no! Clint with a K, King Cobra's dad. King Cobra with a K's dad. Hey, hey everyone. Some of you may not know who I am. I'm Josh's father, Clint Saunders. <laughs> First, this like is to thank so good, and nobody was watching this shit back then. Cobra had like ten thousand subscribers back then, in all of this production. All of this production w like came into this. Each and every one of you for all the support. It would have meant the world to Josh. The reason I've come here tonight is to let you know that I've set up a video archive of all of Josh's original videos. The link is in the description below. Josh's passing has been rough on all of us, and I just want to thank each and every one of you for the support. <laughs> At the beginning of July, Josh opened up about his work and mentioned that his head chef was aware of his trolls. Josh oh, also no. admitted they had a crush on a waitress. I no. So, dude, you... Jeff. Jeff, you missed the part where Liquid Clint announced the death of Liquid Cobes. No. Yes. I have to play it for him, guys. You, I know you just saw it, but... Damn. Hold on, hold on. There he is. There he is. There's Liquid Clint. Uh, or Liquid... He's yeah, got, here... Uh... I think that made it more. I think I called him Liquid Clit for a second there. I think it was really funny. Liquid Clit. Uh, right here. Shortly after this confrontation, Clint with a K announced that King Cobra with a K <laughs> had passed away. Hey, everyone. Some of you may not know who I am. I'm Josh's father, Clint Saunders. First, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for all the support. It would have meant the world to Josh. The reason I've come here tonight is to let you know that I've set up a video archive of all of Josh's original videos. The link is in the description below. Josh's passing has been rough on all of us, and I just want to thank each and every one of you for the support. At the beginning of July... So, so I, I, I have to point this out. Uh, so, Jaconnery says, it's not the real Clint, he's not in blue body paint. Uh, for anybody who has watched right Arrested back. Development... I have to point out that Clint is so very much like Tobias in fucking Arrested Development. I absolutely, absolutely would see Clint Saunders as trying to, to like get into the blue man group by painting his body blue. That's like that's a real that's a real fucking thing. That is so fucking real. Holy shit. Clint Saunders is the embodiment of the Casper Wyoming version of Tobias from fucking Arrested Development. Holy shit. That is some real shit, dude. Oh my god. It, I just made that connection right now, and we are so sim fucking patico right now. That is great. Holy shit. Oh yeah, Anus Tart. Yeah, you know, you know, you know Clint Saunders drives around with an SUV that he thought the the vanity plate was a new start, but it came out spelled anus tart. That's real. That's real. That's absolutely real. Yeah, Clint Saunders uh, is Tobias, one hundred percent. Fantastic. I think Ben is using this as a good excuse to go piss real quick, but that's okay. Totally fine. 
Like when Jessica killed Cobes live on YouTube. Probably. Yeah, that's probably yeah, that's probably real. Yeah. <laughs> Man, Jesus Christ. What a fucking like what a whirlwind. What a whirlwind this kind of shit is. I didn't even know that there was a liquid fucking cobra. I didn't know until tonight. I thought I was really like up on my cobra lore, but like this is blown my fucking head apart. This is wild. Absolutely crazy. Is Clint also an analyst and a therapist? Well, he's definitely a thespian. He's definitely a thespian. Liquid Jessica is face first in the bath right now. <laughs> I don't know if I should laugh at that. Um, people passing out in the bath is uh, that's a bad time. Your liquid genesis. Okay, fair. Yep, fair. It's good. Totally fair. Liquid Jessica smells like Hardee's. Ooh. Intimacy coordinator. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. Hang on. Picture, chat, hang on. This is important. Ben, before we move on from Cobra, because I'm done with Cobra. Yeah, I'm fucking that's fine. done. That's fine. But, but, but before we do, before we do, picture yourselves in a small room. It's an uncomfortable room. And there are paintings on the wall, and they're like, like random ass paintings that you'd find at like a thrift store. It's the decor is very kitsch, but also very muted. And you're in there because somebody required you to be there for whatever reason. Maybe it's uh, your relationship, maybe it's your family, or whatever. And as you're sitting there waiting to get your therapy. And you're not really sure what kind of therapy you're going to get. In walks Clint's fucking, Clint fucking Saunders. And he's like, can we talk about your relationships? Can we find out really at the root of what's causing all of these interpersonal fucking conflicts? I would shit my pants. I would be very uncomfortable. I wouldn't be into this at all. I would find this very, very uncomfortable. We do uh, have uh, in the in the fan chat in the Patreon chat we have Sticky, who's who's a pretty lady. I think she's got a crush on Clint Saunders. Pretty sure she. Sticky. Yeah, Sticky. Who's Sticky. Look look at her in the live chat. Like scroll up. She's got a crush on Clint Saunders. Who's Sticky? Sticky. Look uh, at her. With the, the Patreon. Yeah, yeah. The li Yeah, yeah, yeah. That chat. The Patreon. Yeah. Well, like you know, yeah. Sticky. Sticky. I see that sticky. This is sticky. Uh, yeah, she's right there. Oh, I'm... oh yeah, no, she's pretty. Okay, yeah. okay. What's... Wait, wait, wait. So sticky, St sticky's got a thing for for Clint. Yeah, I think so. Why? <laughs> I mean, like, okay, okay. Here's the thing. Clint's got daddy energy. He's got I, big muscle arm. You know, he was a gymnast, which by the but here's the thing. No, no, no. A male gymnast, a male gymnast is like naturally strong in their upper body. And yeah, sure, and I guess sure. Clint was like a good gymnast when he was younger, and that's why he still works I wouldn't, out. I wouldn't doubt that. I think yeah. I think he's pretty cut still. He's probably in, in pretty good shape. But but, but you know, Sticky, like I mean, like what is what is Clint using? She likes muscles? musicals. Oh, she likes. Musicals. She likes his biker <laughs> Hamlet. Why well, I, I can't? I can't? I can't? I, I I can't stand up against that. I don't like fucking <laughs> musicals. I think I musicals are fucking lame as fuck. Uh, I don't yeah. Know. No, I'm sorry. Nah. Well, whatever. All right. You know what, Clint? You got one. You got one. I think Clint. he's got more than one. Pretty sure he's got a lot. I think, I think got, he has I think more fangirls than Cobra. You know, Cobra I, even told. I, 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 think I hate Co to say it. I hate to say it. I hate to say it. I think Clint has a whole field by which to pluck. Cobra told Naked and Laughing, like, wait till you see my dad's biceps. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 Absolutely. 
Yeah. Um, anyway, we're going to get into something else. I think now it's time to introduce those of you who aren't aware to Shani and Revelation News. We'll play the intro now. Oh, yes. Yes. God. Oh, fuck shit. me dead. Yes. Uh, yeah. we'll, we'll... Yes. Turn off the goddamn internet! Oh, don't touch me. Don't touch me. TP, are they gonna touch me? Woo! Sorry, Danger Dude. Jeff Holiday is a big fan of Shanny and Reb. Uh, no, so this, this, this is like a big thing. A big thing for me. So we, we've got a lot of new people who are, like, into Cobes, and that's cool. That's cool. I'm, I'm down with that. Like, I'm down with the Cobes fucking fandom. I'm down with the people who really like Cobes. Are you down with it on a <laughs> level? Would you be down? Da- oh, oh, not a fucking down with the Cobra. Oh, not a fucking down with the Cobra. <laughs> but but if, if there is ever been if there's ever been content that people who are into cobes should pay attention to it is shanny and rev that is the fucking real cherry on the fucking the the, the cherry on the fucking birthday cake of internet content these people are such a fucking nightmare give a us night- synopsis like a two minute or one minute synopsis if you I can, can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Okay. So Shani and Rev are both fundamentalist Christians who are very, very oppressive and try and tell people, like, you're not living the way that Christ wants you to live. They randomly, because of Rev, got $750,000 fucking dollars to get a house. An inheritance. An inheritance. When they got this house, they spent that money buying a house beating their fucking children, getting CPS called on them, both of them being, like, classified as unfit parents. Because they beat they each other, too. Unfit. There was a video of Shani, like, going, like, getting arrested. They beat the fuck out of each other and their fucking kids, had their kids taken away. And I want to I, I want to position this, too. I'm sorry for interrupting, but I, I, I need to mention this. Revelation News is probably, like, five foot six and probably... At the like these days, probably like a hundred and thirty pounds, and Shanny is probably like six feet tall and like six hundred pounds, probably. Yeah, probably. And probably. her voice is deeper than his voice. Like, yeah, his voice is like, "Hey, Shanny, I like you a lot. You're so sexy," and she's like, "Hey, motherfucker, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. like that." Yeah, they're, they're- the, these are these are actually so like Cobes Reverend tore Cobes. Shani apart verbally this time. It was visceral. No yeah, Shani's from relevant this time. Right, 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 right. So <laughs> this is not why I asked how big you are, Chesh. I asked how big you are because I want to know how much I could fold you and, and put you in my pocket. It's don't worry about it. Uh, uh no <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh no, but Shani and Rev. Shani and Rev are some of the biggest scum fucks I've it's ever true. seen on the internet. They are legitimately disgusting human beings. Like, Cobes, you can make an excuse that he's just, like, wildly autistic, fell into drugs, or whatever. These people have no excuse. They are vile, vile human beings. Every single time, you might have, like, a little bit of an inkling that you like kind of feel bad for them just remind that they actually like beat their fucking children and then just enjoy the ride they are fucking scum they're scum call the fucking caps jason these people should not exist they should actually be deleted from reality they are so vile deleted and with that with that, let's fucking get into it, man. Wait a minute, Jeff Holiday. I want to know what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you, motherfucker. How could you say it about me in Revelation News? Huh? 
I can't stand you. Hold on, you want to fuck me though? You want to eat my pussy, uh, Jeff Holiday? You want to no, eat I, my no. fucking ass, Jeff Holiday? I don't think I could do it. There's, there's no, there's no amount of booze, Shannon. There's no amount of booze, Shannon. Uh, no, I can do, do the tornado to you, baby. Huh? Huh? Oh, <laughs> don't you like it like that? that. Do Shannon, you fucking like it like that? Shannon, there's Whoa. no amount of roofies. There's no amount of our roofies. Shit. No amount of fucking tequila. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Our shit got scrambled so hard. Hey, it's so weird. Make that white stuff come out again. Oh, um, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, God. Right. Oh, God. Here it is. Absolutely. Absolutely. 100 billion fucking thousand trillion goddamn fucking percent done with the invasion oh. of my privacy and yeah. and harassment yeah. of people yeah. to watch for my new email address that I have yeah that I really wish there was a way to block and there probably is but they always change the fucking settings on Google and you don't know where to go I wish there was a way that I could. I wish there was a way that I could what take there? that I could totally shut off on my Google profile. Uh, I lost track of what I was thinking. It doesn't matter, but it's all right. Let's oh, keep going. displaying my the email. That's it. This is a tactic of these people that harass you and want to make you fucking kill yourself. Because that's what's happening. They here. always go to that. They're oh, using yeah. me to get to Shannon. And it's, man, it's... it's I been, like how they're united at the beginning. And then as it goes on, they're like divided. They div their fucking minds, yep. dude. This, this stream is insane. Where are I've they living? This, like, like, what are these drapes? It looks like an old person's house. Uh, they're, they're, I think they're living in like, uh, one of their, one of their family members' houses. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been pretty crazy. Okay. But they're I, lucky. There's better people sleeping on the street. I know your tactics. I know why you do this. The goal here is for you to, you know, though, I, I'm not going to lie. Shani had a crush on TJ. And Revelation News tried to look like TJ because of it. No, 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 no. Oh, it's true. No it's way. true. No, it is absolutely true. It's totally true. No, I'm not. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I believe it. I, believe it. I totally believe it. Have I just, I, I, I can't, I, I'm trying to, like, picture, like, how she was, like, like, mentally thinking about things. She's like, I just love that fucking amazing atheist. She's just hey, like, I would love that amazing atheist <laughs> micro penis <laughs> to be in my mouth, baby. It'd be so fucking hot. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I'd be licking it like crazy. Can't even handle it. Oh my god. Like Damn that. Damn it, damn it. Shannon, would you like its boss, Shannon? Oh, hold Shannon. on, hold on. Shit, hold on. What is? <laughs> let me let me do that. Oh God, hold on. <laughs> he fucked it up, Ben. You fucked it up. Yeah, 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 Shannon. Yeah, yeah, like I'll I'll facilitate that gladly. Maybe get into a free a threesome with you, me and TJ. <laughs> It'd be amazing. Badge <laughs> on your fucking dark web profile. That you have a legitimate suicide video. Well, I'm telling you that that's not going to happen because I won't let it happen. I know that you absolute disgusting sacks of shit have taken my email and put it in dating sites. Yeah, yeah. To make me look like I am trying to cheat on her. You've yeah. even gone... I love this conspiracy theory. As far <laughs> as to write a fake fucking... It's like if you... If you went into a fucking stall at Waffle House. Ooh, is Rev like going into stalls at Waffle House? Like, is there are there like Waffle House glory holes or something? 
I mean, they do exist. I do. I do know for a fact that they do exist. Uh, when did you go into be... one, Jeff? When did you participate? Uh, no, no, no. It was, <laughs> I went to go pee, and I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> and put, no, Betty's no. a good time. Call five three My five 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 two one two one. You did the same fucking thing to me on an internet dating profile, which I've never touched one of those sites in my fucking life. Yeah, yeah. But this is harassment. Can we, can this is can how you... A, can, we get, can we give a little bit of context about what's happening with this? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so so for those who, who are not aware on the Shani and Rev universe, in, in this instance, this this live stream, if I'm not mistaken... What happened was a random girl from Norway messaged Rev and said, hey, and gave him money, gave him like 20 bucks, which is great for them because they are fucking poor and they live off of. When uh, they used to be rich, like three years ago, they were I know, like I know, upper I know. class. I know, I know. So they live off of e-begging. They so pissed away like, their money so hard. So Rev messages messages her and he's like, "Hey, thank you so much for the money." And she's like, "Hey, here's a picture of my pussy." And he's like, "Whoa, uh, you shouldn't send that to the Instagram. Send it to my email because yeah, because Shani she, sees the Instagram. Because Shani would see that message. And what he says in this video is that he doesn't want Shannon to get triggered." <laughs> yeah, Shannon to get triggered by a picture of a pussy. So he's trying to save Shannon by having her send the pictures to his private email, but only if she's <laughs> compelled and can't help herself. <laughs> <laughs> it's such <laughs> twisted logic. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's, it's like fucking wild. It is dude. wild as fuck. And Shannon can't be gaslit. She will not be gaslit. She won't. And, no. and the thing is, uh, we just have to, we have to play. This is so long, though. I don't know. Like, do you have time codes where you can sleep? I have like, all night, Jeff Holiday. I'll stay up till three. You know what? It's it's daylight savings. So once we hit. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Once we you're hit 2 wrong. p.m., it's it'll turn to 3 p.m. instantly. I'll put it this way. I have about an hour. Or a.m. rather. A.m. rather. I'll, I'll put it this way. I have about an hour and a half worth of wine left. Oh, so that's what I have. An hour, a, an hour and wine worth left. And I'll, I'll keep going for that for sure. Like, I don't give a fuck if we pause. If I got to pee, it might take longer. It might be like two hours, whatever. But uh, <laughs> but like what what I think is important is if you're going to stick with us on this fucking video and it is fucking wild. Keep in mind Rev's position is he's just trying to spare Shane. He's trying to protect her from pussy right. photos. From <laughs> pussy photos. Pictures of a girl's pussy. <laughs> hey, he's such a good hey, guy. Stuff come out again. Do this. <laughs> and I am absolutely done with it. Every way that I can get off the internet without having something to do with it for work related issues, that is the yeah. only place and listening to music because i fucking need that for therapy i still love that video of ref that. trying to tell everyone he got horny smelling shani's bra if i was musky shani's bra i would just musky. melt from the nasty odor like in a cartoon it's a musky scent there i did the neck thing for you because i'm starting to get indigestion because of the fucking dodge shit that you've caused in my fucking life not cat pee. You have bullied me so bad and, and stolen <laughs> my fucking identity by taking my email and putting it in dating things that are uh, make trying to make me look like I'm looking for pussy when I'm not. That I have absolutely no... If I was going to do something like that, I would not do it on the internet. There are any number of chicks that I could probably... I've seen a few times. Oh, that makes me feel better. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. Well, good for you. That I wouldn't do it. This but, but wait. I was not looking for pussy. I was not. I was not. I was looking for cock. 
swift way. This oh, way. Oh, you do it the more sneakier way. That's no. Good to know. Sneakier. No. I love sneaky? that. Just continue on your rant. I don't care. But see, you're winning. The dragon overcomes the saints in the end. We know that from the Bible. So I probably shouldn't expect I love anything all their different. biblical bullshit because neither of them practice any actual Christianity. Uh, they just say they are. But I will confess before the living God that you will be judged for ruining a relationship if that if it comes to that. I can yeah. tell you straight yeah. from the throne of God that I know in my core of hearts that I, I am supposed Cohen brothers to be with Shannon. She was there for me in a tough time when I was suicidal and, and close to eating a bullet. Shut up. She was there yeah. for me. And I will now be there for her in a very tough time in her life. Doing that demeans real issues with minecrafting yourself. Like it does. Uh, it does. Totally does. Like, using it as a manipulative ploy is disgusting. Life where her health is very bad. And I will gladly do everything and anything that she needs for me to be there for her and take care of her. And yeah, it wouldn't yeah. matter if we, as a couple, ended. It wouldn't matter. The fact of the matter is, is that Shani has absolutely no one in her life. No one. It's funny because they met on the like weird online like neo Christian anti atheism sphere, like headed by Brett Keen and G Man. Yeah, they, literally, they literally met because of Brett Keen. Literally met because of Brett Keen. Wow. Fucking yeah. Another Fucking abomination weird. created by Brett Keen. Yep. No. Oh yeah. <laughs> And if I were to abandon her, it would be equivalent to murder in my eyes. Wow. So even if it ended, you guys wouldn't get a breakup video. You wouldn't get a uh, uh, Shani raging and crying. You wouldn't get any of that. You would get just no content from us. None. Okay. All right. Because yeah. it, kind of like sure. when you went to jail for beating your stepkids, which they're not even your kids, but they're someone else's yeah. kids. I, 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 I if, fuck. If I was those kids, dad, <laughs> and and I found out you went to jail for beating my kids, I'd go to jail. The Lord you got oh, out. Is so dark and so fucking deep. Where, it is so yeah. Who the fuck? How, how does Shani keep getting men that want to fuck her? She is. I don't know. I don't know. G Man wanted to fuck her too. G Man had a serious crush on Shani. Go well, back. I... No, 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 no. Go back to like DP, uh, like five years ago when G Man was coming on all the time. He was like, "Hey guys, do you think me and Shani would make a good couple?" And then he was like eating, yeah, he was yeah, eating yeah. Oreos, like licking them, like, and he's like, "That Shanny right there." And I'm like, "What the fuck, G man? You're yeah, gross, dude." I remember that shit. Yeah, that was fucking nuts. And then that he was... said he'd kill trans people, and we never had him on the show again after that. Yeah, because he's a fucking scumbag. I mean, that's fuck jackass. I mean, like. Yeah, it, it grossed me out to the point where I'm like, okay, you're just kind of gross. If she would have me in her life. And, he, and, and let me clarify, he said, like, if he had, like, dated someone and then found out they were trans, he would kill them, which is disgusting. Yeah, Disg yeah that's like, awful. That's yeah. terrible. Yeah. I, I cut ties after that. I would stay yeah. to take care of her because she needs someone. So with all of this being said, I want to make it clear about this person from Norway. <laughs> Probably way hotter than Sh Shani. There's not uh there's not a lot of Shannies in Norway. There's a lot of like tall blonde statuesque women in Norway. There's not a lot of Shannies. 
Yeah, there's not a lot of Shan movies. Not a lot. <laughs> I, I guarantee you if Shani went to Norway, a lot of people would be taking pictures of her. Uh, Probably. I, I had yeah. a... I, I had a friend in Estonia, and she told me anytime she saw like a super fat person, she would take a picture of them because they're so rare there that like that's weird. It's ah, it's it, weird. It's, yeah, it's so weird. rare in a lot of those countries. It's just like just naturally like they're all very fit people. Right, 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 right. It's well, the, uh, I, I had a friend that went to China with. I had a friend it's though. I had a friend that went to China with like green hair, and everyone was taking her picture too. So, right, 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 right. This started, and Shani was right next to me the first time that I seen this woman's picture. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. during some live yeah. stream, this person from Norway decided to give us some money. So I felt that it's necessary because I am honorable when it comes to these things. I want to always thank the person to at least thank them privately, not publicly, because you psychopath reaction assholes like to come into other people's lives and mess with them. I can't wait the till they start fighting. Us. So I oh, don't yeah. do it publicly. Oh, dude, it so you. She was looking for Here it is. information so she could post it on Drake. This is the beginning channel. of it. Right. Well, giving her a Here fucking chance, dude. Right. While giving us fifty dollars. Ready. In one fight. Week. Yeah, but you they were giving us money. I don't what care. Trying to do? Get it. I didn't care. I was getting fifty dollars. Yeah. Okay. We need money. Yeah. Right. We needed money. Why don't you both go money. get a job? Ah, uh, that sounds like some cuck behavior, Ben. Sorry, 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 sorry. They could just, they so could just if you want me to be straight with you, and this is probably very uncaring to the person. I, I remember these two, and you don't even see Shani right now. If you don't know, well, I, I put her on the screen earlier when I was doing the mouth thing. They yeah. were doing porn when they didn't even need oh, money. Yeah. And here's the thing. They would tag me and my friends to fuck with us on Twitter. And yeah. there'd be like a video of them like banging because yeah. like Twitter is perfect. Hey, you're gonna see Shannon getting their ass e asshole eaten out. Yeah. <laughs> Randomly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They have no shame. There's no shame involved in this. Dude, that video of Shani getting, like, banged from behind and she's like, Argh. yeah, fuck me, man. And he's like, you can barely see him. There's like, her like giant. Like, there's like, like her. There's her head like here in front of the camera, and then there's like giant ass, and then you can see Rev like barely peeking over, and he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. You can see him from like the nose up, and he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like, yeah, fuck me, man. They they. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh. it's fucked up dude it's so that's what up. it was <laughs> and, they, and the best part is too they sent that to you they were like they tagged hey. me and pimp monk and shabisky in it on it's twitter like Oh, drunk peasants get owned. And she's like, eh, hey, you my god. Like, it's her <laughs> face going, like, into the camera. Like, she's like, eh, hey, yeah, that's me, man. And he's like, and then there's, like, her mountainous ass. And then there's him, like, from the neck up being like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, hey. Yeah, 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 like, like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you feeling it? Oh, my feeling so owned, drunk peasants? Huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> person that is from Norway, but the fact of the matter is, is they just wanted to set me up to get some nice yeah. uh, DMs yeah. to give to Draven. Yeah, to have their nice little <laughs> hilarious live stream that my wife played, so that I could hear some of the disgusting dog shit that they had to say about her. These people don't know her at all, and the absolute disgusting fucking trash that comes from their mouth. It should be illegal.
You're against this free speech? This should be considered wow. a mo wow. emotional abuse on a vulnerable adult because that's what Shannon is. Shannon is a protected class. What? I, I uh, and I have a name right off the bat. Uh, if we were to take uh, people to court, it would be number one. Number one would be Draven and that live stream that you pulled up for evidence. And it's all I would need. And Shani would need to get a judgment against that sack of shit. Oh yeah, for sure. attacking yeah. an emotionally, mentally protected class individual that Shani is. Because BPD is a very... By the way, if you want to see that video, it, I played it randomly on one of the old actual manias where, like, Shani and... We had, like, a tag team division where, like, Shani and Rev were a tag team. And I just played that as their, like, tag team video. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking great, dude. Oh anyway, God. anyway. Serious mental disorder. And you are to... fucking with a vulnerable person. You can be held legally liable for this shit. So, so Ben, Ben, real quick, before this keeps going, this is this is the whole thing with like that Norwegian chick yeah. sending him pictures. Yes. Of, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know what? There's no context needed at this point. Do you want me to skip ahead or? Um. So, so uh, this is like an hour and a half long video, right? Yeah. Uh. Skip ahead, like, to about 25 minutes in. But, like, I'm going to give people, like, a little bit of, of context. So what happens is, this is what happens. A random girl from Norway. Hotter sends, than Shani without even seeing her. She's very pretty. Very pretty. Uh, well, if she's even real. She's sends them funky. Sends them money. It's a catfish, of course. Sends them money. And Rev is like... Hey, thank you so much for sending us some money. Christ praised and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, hey, and sends him a picture of her pussy. And he's like, whoa, Shani wouldn't like that. So maybe you should send that to my private email. And that's that's what he does. He he chooses that when this girl randomly sends him a picture of her pussy, he's like, Send that to my private email because he's trying to spare Shani's feelings. And yeah. this is where we're, yeah. we're at right now. Suck me into your ass like a black hole. Yeah. Yeah. Uranus smells like fish and popcorn butter. Thank you, yeah. Dot Executables. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, like Dot Executables. Yeah. 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 All, of the, yeah. all of the Discord links work. So there must be another account that you had that's banned. Because they all work. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, my God. Okay. That's fair. Oh, my God. You literally have pushed me so far. I didn't do shit to you, boy. Yeah, you're lucky that I love you. I didn't do shit. Whoa. You're very lucky. Dude, did you ever see the video where Rev's like, you're lucky I don't put a gun to your head and blow your brains out? You ever oh, see that? Crazy. He goes crazy. Like He doesn't. Not he here. Doesn't I, I've he seen another one where he's like. <laughs> Anything, but like he gets cr he gets close, dude. He gets really fucking nuts in this one. It's really fucking crazy. Lucky that he I love. I you. just asked you a question. Why would you tell a woman to send the pics? But she's also beat the shit out of him because I, yeah, she's like way bigger way. than him. I should have oh, just yeah, told her yeah, again yeah. and said, "Look, I don't. We don't want to ever see anything like that shit ever again." No, you do want to see that shit. That's the problem. See. Huh. See? Because you wouldn't say send the pics here. She puts intentions on me, Dude, and then that's you. gaslighting. No, it's not. She puts intentions. That, that term is so overused. Intentions on me, insists it's the case, and that's, that's it. I'm done. Well, I'm not going to discuss it, it anymore. Why would you want another woman's photos? I don't want them. Then why would you say send them here? I love big letters. I love tattoos and seeing them. Once again, I didn't say that. You don't, you don't see you that. Keep, you guys? She, she thinks she has it quoted in the email, and it's not. She keeps making it, it up. It is in the email. No, but it's keep, not. Keep lying. You keep making it up. No, it's in the email. You are making things up in your head. Keep lying. You just destroy yourself. Keep lying. I have God. You self destroy. I have God on no, my you side. don't. No, you don't. You don't have the truth at all. Yeah, I do. 
I have God on my side. You don't have any truth. I have God on my side. No, you don't. I have God on my side. You're a liar, Shannon. No, I'm oh, not. Yes, you are. Oh, you're a liar. How am I oh. lying that I'm... It's so easy to claim you have God on your side. Saying I have well, yeah. God on my side. You just don't. Yeah, well, because you're Because you believe the lies of trolls. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, you're Whoa! pathetic. And, and, yeah, I, and I this is over. Look, you all... Want... Ever... Rebuking. They got rebuked. They're getting rebuked. He, he, he got straight rebuked. Hold on. Did Shady just do a backwards rebuking? She rebuked like like a backwards habuken. You're the one who's saying I'm mentally abusing you when I'm just asking questions, and you're the one who's throwing insults. Yeah, and, right. Um, uh, yeah, you're. Okay. This is competition, okay. right? Okay. It's a competition with her. No, to it's be, not a competition yeah, it with is. me. Yeah, it is. You're Everything. Shit. And I've been doing shit. a backwards rebuke. I came on here supporting you. I came on here supporting you. Hi, memory. Hi. Then you switch it to I'm a horrible person. Because you came against me and everybody will see it. I came against you by asking a question. While on air, you came against me. Oh, boo hoo. Came against me, shit. I want to know the answer. You should. Answer. You should go talk to your friend Draven. That thinks you're oh, a, it's just oh, a, oh, the oh, most oh, disgusting oh, sack oh, of shit. I don't want to talk lived. to him. You played his stream. He's your friend. Right? I wanted to know what Andra had to say. You should go talk to Andra. You should talk to Draven too. You should. Yeah. He's your friend. He's good. Yeah, Tiny, yeah, disgusting, yeah. Disgusting, wart faced pig. Whoa! Well, I mean, that's your woman, dude. What does that say about you? You, you wow. know, she is wart faced. I mean, like. Well I mean, still, but but still, like everybody deserves some love and whatnot. No, I'm but saying like, like that's your woman. That's been your I woman know. for like years. That's crazy. Yeah, that's that's terrible thing to say. I'd like awesome. to see them fight in the yeah. octagon. Who would win? Yeah, me too. Me too. Oh my god, he'd be so squirmy. He'd be so squirmy. She'd just fall on him and kill him. She'd be like like a fucking like crazy ass like uh like a like a like a gladiator with like so much girth and weight and just like Jason and he he'd be like like super like he'd be all greased up. Oh my god, do I have to do it? Oh my god, Shetty, please no, don't fall on me. I don't, I like I can't survive. Oh my god, no uh, oh, shit, I my I don't have my uh thing set up. So now I have you to. Fucked, you I've, fucked, you I've fucked just, it up. You fucked hey, it up. I'll handle this, Jeff Holiday. I'm gonna oh, step okay. in and give them both the chocolate. My I bad. am my going bad. to give my them bad. both the motherfucking chocolate. You want some too, Jeff Holiday? Um, you want I, some of this chocolate too? I'm I'm trying Jeff to. Jeff Holiday, up. do you want a piece of this chocolate? Do, do you have some sugar-free chocolate? For no, me? it's 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 packed full of sugar, Jeff Holiday. Then it's not for me. It's not for me, Jimmy. No, it's not no, me. you want some of this chocolate, Jeff Holiday. You know what? You you uh you 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 find me a you find oh me a my nice God, Jeff Holiday. Uh, oh my God! I never had loves with a whitey before. Jeff ben. Holiday. Ben. <laughs> ben. Stop. <laughs> Go for it. You should talk to Draven. Jesus Christ! You're disgusting. <laughs> and my uncle put so much money on you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm disgusting. Yep. You're disgusting. Good. Pathetic. I'm disgusting and yep. pathetic because I asked a question. You're just disgusting. You use yeah. my family and it's just the I don't so use your yeah. family. Yes, you do. Sitting on this couch that you have no place at now. You're horrible. So are you. Oh, man. Damn. I didn't gaslight you. I asked a question. Why would you say that? Why? Yeah, well, I know the answer. Did why. you say you destroyed my life? He did, actually. And that was like a really, really weird, salient and painful part of this like live stream. Because so like this entire live stream, he gets caught being 
kind of a, a like a, a a douchey cheater piece of shit. Like he's he's a scumbag. He is in the wrong in this entire live stream. But at the same time, like he's right because also she did ruin his life, sort of. Uh, but nobody. I mean, he nobody, chose nobody, to be with her and waste his. Yeah. And dude, nobody, dude, nobody, get... nobody, nobody forced him to beat those kids either. So, like, it oh, doesn't sure, matter. Sure, sure, sure. That's that's gross. But I'm saying, They're like, you get so you get disgusting human beings. You get three quarters of a million dollars. What do you do? Do you piss it away with Shani and her kids that aren't yours? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I want to I want to I want to go and uh, praise God and spend uh, uh, three hundred fifty thousand dollars on. A they bunch were of living kids. like they were billionaires for like two years and then just Fuck. Disgusting pieces of shit. I, Jesus Christ. And why you're so defensive. They pissed away $750,000. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In like two years. Like, like living it up, too. Living in a really nice uh, townhouse near downtown Denver that, like, they trashed. It's funny because yep. oh, they yeah. abandoned it. They like left in the middle of their lease and abandoned oh, it. Yeah. And someone just like went in and like got film of what it looked like. It was so disgusting. I can't believe kids lived there. And the like, I think one of the kids had like uh, a, like a, a degree of autism where he needed extra care too. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. did. And they 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 hit him. They hit all the kids. They hit all the kids. That's why they don't have them. So fucked up, dude. So I wonder where they up. are now. I feel so bad. Anywhere is better than where they were. And I, I don't say that I mean, that some foster homes I, are not. I don't, I, I don't say that lightly. I don't say that lightly because a lot of foster homes are fucked up. But these people are fucked up. They're fucked up. They should not have kids. But that's why, like, this is why I like watching Shani and Rev, because they're kid beaters. So you can, like... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious, I'm serious. Hey, like, like, listen, 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 no, 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 this is, hang on, hang on, this is this I gotta is do another this bathroom is... break, I'll be right back. Yeah, 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 put me in the big screen, big screen, big screen. <clears throat> so, this is something that I've been thinking about for a long-ass time. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, there's obviously reasons for us to, like, watch Cobra. And I get that. Cobra is wildly fucking entertaining. And, yeah, Cobra makes a lot of, like, bad choices. But there's a lot of people online that are bad people. And when you compare them to, like, Cobra or, like, a lot of people that we might pay attention to, they are... So much fucking worse. Like, way fucking worse. Shani and Rev are legitimately child beaters. Like, they both beat children. They're fucking awful human beings. There is no point in anybody's life when they are fucking with Shani and Rev where you have to pause for a moment and be like, Am I being a dick? No. No. They legitimately have beat children. They have put hands on children. They have hurt children. Both of them have hurt children. There is no moment when you fuck with these two that you ever have to feel bad. And that is a blessing because you can do anything. There is no limits whatsoever to how much you can make their lives fucking hell. Because they are child abusers. That's awesome. Super awesome. That's a great thing. And I think we should all be very, like, celebrant of that. There's lots of people out there that get like really good reactions and they're fast reactions and like it's very satisfying, right? 
I get that. These are bad people. They're like the worst people that have ever, ever existed. These are the people that you want to make their lives a living hell. They are bad people. I didn't put that on you. I know it's I'm disgusting. horrible. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I know I'm going through a lot and I need help. Yeah, but I had, but I need help. Yeah. And I'm horrible for needing help. No, you twisted it to your own. You are a total How? narcissist. How? You are a complete narcissist. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Wow. No, I'm not. Yep. No, I'm not. Very abusive, man. How? Because I ask questions. I remember when Pimmock was like, Shani's an ugly bitch. And there was like, <laughs> she was like, she made this whole video like, you guys make me want to commit suicide. <laughs> and then Red was like, you guys are disgusting. And now they fight each other. Back then they had all this money. It didn't matter. Yep. yep. Yeah. 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 No, it was all. It was all for attention. I remember, like, they do videos where they were like in their bathroom, and Shani be like taking a dump on the toilet, and Rev would yep. be like, "Yeah, yeah," and you could hear like, "Hey, shut the fuck it's up, pit mug. Yeah. In this in this video, I don't know if we're gonna get all the way through this video, but <laughs> near the end of this video, you, have you have you seen have you seen this whole video, Ben? No. Okay, near the end of this video, Rev has had <laughs> enough, and he starts talking about how he has to help take care of her. He wipes her ass. How, and how much he has to wipe her ass. Oh, God. Because I get upset because I see my man go into another woman. Which never happened. Well, that's how I... I mean, you just told her she's ugly and wart phrased. So he why did. wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you go to another woman? Like, I mean, it's totally plausible when you think that way of her, right? I see it. Never happened. It never Jason, happened. you said you wanted to move to Norway. You saw her pics. You said send your pics. She's probably really hot compared to Shani. I don't know what you said to her other than that. You could be erasing messages and stuff. I don't care what you think. I didn't erase any messages. You erased every message that was ever erased. You did. Because you're so... You erased every message that was ever erased? Insecure. You can't even see another woman's body. That's how insecure they are. are. It is probably a catfish and all the pictures are like some model or whatever. When I don't look at anybody but you. That's why you ask for her pics, right? Yeah. Go to hell, Shannon. Oh, yeah. You're already there. Uh? And gaslight me to hell? Fine. I'm not gaslighting. Everyone uses gaslight. It's like, oh, you disagree with me? You're a gaslighter. It's bullshit. I you. I'm just saying what you're saying. Stop I using don't that word. Why. I'm done, dude. You can't yeah. even a answer me that question. You want answers, answers, answers. You want me to talk. Oh, about has she been on live? Really? So she's like an attractive Norwegian. Why did she send pictures of her pussy to this loser? Then? <laughs> I don't know. And you hate my voice, too. You She's a troll, like but she, but that she's sending her real pictures. A troll wouldn't send real pictures. Hearing my voice, I sit, I sit here all day. She's trolling Cyrac. Oh my God, are you serious? A, a troll wouldn't send real pictures of themselves. Usually, though, they would just. Well, that's dumb. Like that's a bad troll. There's plenty of like hot ladies you could steal random pictures from. She must have a weird kind of fetish or something to do that. Because, like, trolling, like, it's not trolling when you're giving away your own nudes to fucking weirdos like Rev and Cyrax. Ah, ha, ha, I trolled you. I gave you my hot nudes. Like, what? Next to you, and if I get a little too loud. No, you could make Shanny. Okay. Do you see what I'm dealing with right now? They're claiming... She's real. She's a real attractive Norwegian woman, but she's a troll. And she's sending her own nudes to Rev and all them. Uh now Cyrax. But it's but it's like 
aren't there like nudes out there on the internet you could already grab that are aren't yourself? I think Does it's it weird. Matter, though? It doesn't matter. I think it's it weird. Matter. I do think it matters. I think it's weird. I mean, like, so, can I explain so it? Sense. Can I explain it? I I think it, it, I think it, it's it, weird. If you're a troll and you're trolling these people you think are disgusting to send them nudes of yourself to, like, turn them on when there's, like, so many nudes you could pull from, like, a billion bajillion places anywhere on the Internet and be like, that's me. They wouldn't know the other way. If, if they if they're just, like, really sex positive and they don't give a fuck. No. I, I think it's totally. I, I think it's viable. Bad idea. You're giving them thrills. Shut up. I don't do that. Yes, I say do. quiet down, please. Yeah, You're hurting my down, ears. Please. Content. Yeah, They're giving us content. Like my okay, life fine. Is just fucking destroyed, man. Why do you have to do this to me? You ripped my soul out, dude. You're so mean to me. You ripped my soul out. You're so mean to me. I didn't do anything to you other than ask a question. Yeah. Oh. Right. Why do I have to be the bad guy? Because I didn't do anything. Neither did I. Chris says I'm the bad guy and I didn't do anything. I was just working my ass off. No, your ass is not worked off, Shanny. <laughs> neither, of you, neither of you work at all. I'd like to see Shanny stand on her feet for like five minutes <laughs> yeah <laughs> sure sure yeah and now I'm really sick and it doesn't matter they'll still hurt me <laughs> everyone will always hurt me they don't don't feel bad for this woman if you're not familiar with her her own mother made a video talking about like how manipulative she is Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These are the worst people on the Internet. Care. They don't care. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, right now, if I was doing a live stream with someone I was dating, I would end the live stream and finish this conversation privately. Well, so th this this whole thing starts because, like, Rev wants to get down to, like, the whole thing of him being, like, catfished right because he's an idiot and he's like yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna make a i'm gonna i'm gonna address the fact that i was catfished and shanny's like i'm hurt because you told a woman to send private nudes to your email address she's right and this is the thing she's like, right to be jealous and hurt yeah no, no, this is the only time you're ever going to hear me say this. Shanny for Christ is right. She's right. She's right. Because he was like, hey, I don't want Shanny to see those hot nudes you want to send me. So send them to my private email. She's right. She's right. <laughs> Jeff, Holiday, I knew you would agree with me. <laughs> you want to eat my ass, Jeff Holiday? <laughs> No, 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 Come no. Come on. It'll but, make Rev really mad. You want to eat my ass? But, Shanny, you were you were right. You were right, Shanny. Do you want to eat this hot pussy, Jeff no, Hardy? No, 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 I don't. Stop gaslighting me, Jeff Hardy. I know you want to eat this fanned coochie and, and butthole. I'm just not going to I'm not going to defend you anymore, Shanny. I'm not going to defend you well, anymore. Fuck you then. Anyway, she's gone. So <laughs> 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 God damn it, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. 
this? Please, will you stop? Stop, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Did he kill her yet? <laughs> <laughs> no! He did not! Ben of the drunken peasants! You wanna eat my ass, bitch! <laughs> and context to that, she literally sent us a video where she was like, Hey, drunken peasants! You wanna eat my ass? Do you wanna eat my ass, drunken peasants? And that's where that comes from. Yep. Yep. She did. And then I saw a video of uh, Rev uh, actually railing the fuck out of that hot puss. Oh my god! Like he was. Wouldn't you love uh, to be like swallowed up and rebirthed? <laughs> like he was in a submarine and running out of yeah. oxygen. The only oxygen he could find is inside of her asshole. Yeah, yeah. And oh man. Did he go at it like a hungry puppy going for some some pup cow? <laughs> My God. My God. Son of a bitch. What's the fake news? I would gaslight me every time. I don't have feelings for her. Oh, I don't oh. know her. Wow, wow. No. I don't love people I don't know yet. I don't know okay. her. But she's from Draven's Crypt. Yeah. And Draven made it clear. Now I want you to make sure you know that I don't tell anybody to do anything. I believe him. I don't think he told her to do it. She did it on her own volition to give some whatever she can give. Yeah, and then you have to say horrible things to me that aren't even fucking true. Everything's perspective, honey. Yeah, well, <laughs> apparently I have a low self-esteem, but yeah, a narcissist. The two don't match. Which one is it? Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Rev likes to throw out, like, psychobabble. Gaslighting, <laughs> narcissist, low self-esteem. It's true. Blah, 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 you can't blah, 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 be both. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Which one is it? You're an enigma. Let's put it that way. More I'm a hurt woman because I saw my husband do something that I didn't think he promised me he would never do again. <laughs> again. He promised me he would never do again. <laughs> I was talking this name and you and you get mad at me for feeling bad about it. I don't. Care. And then you say I'm gaslighted. <laughs> he just told you you were ugly as fuck. By the way, like five minutes ago. Just say. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna say is what he says in this video, and he says some shit. He says some shit in this video. I'm looking at myself as Shanny. Sorry. I, I... <laughs> what? What do you do? play the video, Ben? <laughs> play the video, Ben. God, I think I'm. I think I'm like trans. <laughs> I think I'm trans Shanny. I'm coming out as I identify as Shanny. You, you, you can't seem to like tear yourself away from this, uh, this screen. Are you uh, are you ready to get it on? I think no, 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 no. Trying to say is Shani is an enigma lover. I think you might be right. I think you might be right. I'm upset. How can I not be upset? Nothing to be upset about. There's nothing to be 
Oh, I so it's okay anything. for women to send pics to you. Is it okay for guys to send you dick pics? No. Oh, Ben is Nobody. liquid shanty. Nobody is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, we'll work on that later. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I her for one picture. Except the ones that get sent to your to email. To protect your insecure ass, yes. Oh, because it makes me insecure. Oh, it's you her are. fault. Oh, I yep. had to tell her to where to send her nudes. Yeah, yeah. Because you were insecure, so I, I had to send her... To send her nudes to a place where you wouldn't be triggered to my private email. Or, yeah, you want to see that stuff, though. No, I don't use uh, email. Lies. Yeah, I wonder why it's called Eager Beaver Pleaser. Yeah, you yeah, wonder. It's a stupid fucking profile name. Yeah, it, it says something. Oh, sure it does. Of course it does. <sighs> The name of the YouTube channel is Rev and Shanny because I really like doing content with you when you never even like doing content with me. I was constantly asking you to fucking sing smooth. I've been abused. Unbelievable. Why do I want to do content when I've been abused so bad? I'm done. I've done nothing but take care of your ass. Oh, oh, oh. Take care of her ass? I will admit that is a large undertaking. Uh... You Titanic know. undertaking, if you will. If you will. Wow. If you will. And then you hurt me. To just be abused by you. How am I abusing you? This. Oh, really? Asking questions over something you did and I is abusive. Every question, truthfully. Yeah. Well, that email. That's all I, there is. I can't seem to get it past me when someone says, send the pics here. I, I don't care. I really love I don't tattoos. care what you think. I don't care. Yeah, I know you don't care. That's why you posted it. The intention was to so you never saw a nude of her again because you're so insecure you can't handle seeing her body. And you think I like that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not intent. sold on, like, I don't, I'm not sold on anything Rev is saying right now. He definitely like, likes of, it. Yeah, well, like, of course, of course he does, but, like, I, I'm not, I, like, there's no wiggle room. Like, I don't think anything he's saying right now makes any sense whatsoever. Like, well, she wants to send me like hot nudes of her body, you know. But uh, uh, like I, I don't. I want to. I want to like. I want to save you from having to see her naked body. So I'll get her naked body in my own private Gmail. Like that's. How do you? How do you? How do you quantify that? That that's so fucked up. Bad explanation. That's a bad explanation. Very bad explanation. Pictures on me, where there are none. Yeah, that's why you said it, huh? You deleted the pictures real fast. That's why you said it. What? I said send them here, not IG. Ever. Yeah, good. I'm glad you can get your titty and crotch. <laughs> yeah, I never even look, look at the emails. Did. I never look at that email address ever. I never look at it ever. <laughs> never. Okay. I don't know what I saw. I don't care. Oh, I don't care. You oh, put intentions oh, on me. You put words in me. I am not put yeah, words you in did. you. I didn't say did. exactly you did. what you, you said. You, did. you put words in oh, my ben. mouth. What words oh, did I put in your mouth? Heart, heart, bullshit. Oh, Ben. The worst, Ben. The worst, Ben. All the worst. Stop ever. gaslighting ben. me, Jeff Holiday. Oh, Ben. Oh, Ben. Oh, God, Ben. Ben. Send her a lot ben. of words. Money. And you love that money, too. Because it gets your mm -hmm. soda. <laughs> it gets your soda. Could you imagine that was like your main nutrient? It gets your soda. Your soda. I don't even like I don't even have Listen, soda. I, I need I need to scam a bunch of women. I need them to pay me money to look at my baby carrot. So that I can pay for your soda. 
That's fucking disgusting. It's just true. What a fucking cuck. Jesus yes, Christ. The very true. It sounds so it. gross. It's fucking vile, dude, Why is what keep, it keep is. keep trying to turn it around on me, I see. God damn. <laughs> I'm so sick of my heart being broken. You do it to yourself. I didn't do shit. Yeah. There's no intention here. I'm telling you, there was no intention. None. No sexual intention at all. None. Zero. Zero. No yeah, control. yeah, yeah. Zero. No, no intention. Zero. Shannon. Yeah. Zero. None. Shannon. Yeah. And then that link. Mm -hmm. That was on your your links. Mm -hmm. Don't you love pop ups <laughs> that install stuff on How your desktop? How do you think I should feel? If it was you, how would you feel about it? I would look at the reality of the situation. That we are trolled by a, quite a few people. And they take oh. our emails and our, even our personal addresses. Yeah, but here's the thing. You still talk to her regardless if you know she's a troll or That's not. That's a separate fucking issue. You're talking about this Ancia girl. I'm you were there from the fucking beginning. Now, God I damn didn't it. say anything to her. I didn't even know what you were yes, talking to her about. Yes, because you don't even care who gives us money anymore. I, I want. Why would I want to talk to anyone over everything I've gone through? Go, whatever. You don't even care to thank people. I, I have thank people. I do. I thank people. I keep track of who fucking gives money to us, and I go to say thank you. That's what I was doing with her. What a fucking. That's it. Because it's the said, worst argument ever. Like, just admit to it at this point. Like, it's yeah, you got yeah. caught, buddy. It's pretty bad. Like uh, this, this, this whole stream is amazing, amazing. To like, like get that 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 like really intricate like like vibe into their uh, relationship. He calls her the worst, the worst names in the fucking book. Like he goes hardcore. Absolutely tearing her apart, and by the end of it, she's like, but, "But you still love me, Jason." He's like, "Of course, yeah, of course. I'm still gonna wipe your ass, Shannon." And like, it doesn't matter. Like, none of it matters. He's still, at the end of the day, going to literally wipe the shit out of her ass. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how bad they fight. They are both still stuck together. In the worst Ouroboros of absolute dumb fuckery. It is so gross. It is so disgusting. It's wild. I love it. I love it. Everything about it. No notes. No notes. Everything about it is fucking awesome. Fucking great. Benjamin. Sorry, I got distracted. Benjamin. Benjamin, I just want my, my love and my partner. <laughs> Revelation News. All right. So I'm going to do something really quick here because. It's not going to put me up on, on the fucking. No, 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 no. I, mean, I, I No, no. I, I have to let everyone know something. Oh, so oh, a smart oh. business person, if you're if you do business. You get a business address, correct? Sure. All right. So I would like everyone to flag. Uh, hold on. You know what? For those of you who don't know Jared Genesis. All right. 
What the fuck is happening right now? I'm, I'm going to show you. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Give me a second. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening. All right. So let me provide context for no one who knows. This is a person. Uh, it, here's the person I'm about to ask you to flag off of YouTube. And then I'm going to show you why you should flag him. Here's here's his video. I don't care about age. I date anybody. It doesn't matter. I don't follow society's rules. And, you know, people think ill of me for that, but <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. I never cared about what people think of me. You know, that's why Chris calls me a pedo and all these funny names. You know, even though he's really just I, I don't think there's a word that can describe his level of sickness, but. If you feel you have chemistry towards someone, you know, like you connect in a spiritual way, then go for it. Whether they're, you know, 14, 48, 99, whatever, doesn't matter, dude. Sure, 12 is cool with me. That's great, man. See, the funny thing about adolescence is they never sold their soul yet. And so they still have purity in them. And if you can get one young like that, then that's freaking great. Um, you know, most of the time, though, their parents probably wouldn't be cool with that, and that's understandable. But the funny thing is, a lot of parents are, are so stupid, and they insult their own children, saying, you know, well, my kid can't date someone younger because their brain hasn't developed. Because, basically, you know, it's like saying they're stupid. My kid's stupid, so I don't want them dating someone older because they're just going to make stupid choices because they're dumb. <laughs> I mean, what kind of piece of crap parent says that? Hell yes, I would, dude. I would date an 11-year-old, 9-year-old, doesn't matter. I look in the spiritual aspect of it. If I spiritually connect to someone, it doesn't matter, dude. 99, 8, eight. 1,000 years old, it doesn't matter. 8. Uh, if you think ill of me for that, that's on you. I really eight. don't give a shit. 8. So cheers, guys, for being here. Still got 46. All right, and then uh, here's, a, here's a comment from just a couple days ago where he, he calls part of the rainbow flag it's he says he's not allegedly he's a proud advocate of all colors of the rainbow which is means like he thinks being a map is part of the rainbow flag all right and the reason i'm bringing this out there right now hold on the, the reason i'm bringing this out there right now is because this stupid ugly disgusting motherfucker has filed several false DMCA's on me over the last few months. And at, many of you probably don't know, when you do that, you have to give information in your DMCA claim. So I provided okay. the information, which is all business. It's not my personal information. And I want to show all of you that this piece of shit thinks it's my home address and he posted this <laughs> but look he says thanks for submitting that copyright movers removal so i can get your info don't be surprised if someone stops by your house so 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 he posted your like the the business address please everyone go flag this Please, I'm posting it in the chat right now. Go flag the fuck out of this guy and get this pedophile off of fucking YouTube now. We need to be done with him. He is a fucking scourge on society. He is fucking gross and disgusting. You can't call the police. He didn't do anything. He's just you can't call the police on someone just for saying that they're a pedophile. They have to actually try to do something. So that doesn't matter. Right. Right, right, uh, right. But one thing we can do is get his fucking channel terminated so he can stop DMCAing people. What a fucking sick piece of shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm I'm I, I, I heard what he did. This is a call to action. Everyone fucking flag the shit out of this for releasing personal information. If Even you though could. That's, that's not your that's not your home address. That's that's a it's a personal house. ad. You can't release the information from a DMCA Connor yeah, it notification. It matter. Like it's it's a business address, but still, like that's fucked up. That's fucked up. And he thinks it's my address. That's the fucked up thing. Fucking dipshit. Fuck what this disgusting fucking piece of shit. He's moron. gross. He never showers. He lives with the, his parents. He doesn't have a job. He doesn't wear clothes most of the time. 
He doesn't wear a shirt. Ass. Dude, can we watch? Uh, can we watch the video of him like, uh, uh, like fighting with his dad? Can we watch yeah. that again? Yeah, yeah, I'll pull that up. That would be great. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should definitely pull that up. That'd be great. What an absolute fucking waste of fucking space. What a weird fucking pedo. Disgusting. Fucking it's funny because he cries. He's like, oh, you guys are gang stalking me. You're gang stalking me. He's like, someone showed up at my house and swatted me. Which, by the way, he was never actually swatted. The cops came and knocked on his door. No, it was like, no, what's no, going no, on no. here? And the thing is, like, on, on the grand. He needs scope, a SWAT team like, to come to his house. Well, on the grand scope of like, like uh, on the internet, everybody calls everybody a fucking pedo. Like, it's it's so tired, it's so boring. But this dude, literally, literally has is said, a pedo, uh, an uh, an unapologetic pedo, like a, an unapologetic fucking pedo, like unapologetically, like hey, eight year olds. <laughs> we just heard it. It could be, cool. be totally cool, bro. <laughs> Like, disgusting piece of shit. I just Dis emailed my friend that works at YouTube also. He um, should. Anyway. Is this, is this, here's yeah, him threatening to beat up his elderly dad. <laughs> Let's go. The biggest moron I ever met in my life, Chris. I'm going to speed it up a little bit because he's playing copyrighted music in the background. So I'm going to speed it up to 1.5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you understand that? You gotta be the biggest dumbass I've ever met. You seriously, man. You meant to know. His dad's gonna knock on the door in a second. Yeah. You hear that? Ba 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 ba. His dad's ba, knocking ba, ba, on the ba. door. Hey, hey. Why don't you make me? Why don't you make? His dad's like, stop, dude. He's like, why don't you make me? I'll beat your ass if you come in here, man. I'll beat your ass if you come in here, man. Beat your ass, dad. He should, he should be arrested. That's assault. Threatening beat to beat ass. someone up is assault. I'm not playing. I'll beat your fucking ass, man. I'll beat your motherfucking ass. You hear me? I'll beat your motherfucking ass. Don't play with me, boy. Don't play with me, boy. His, oh boy. his eyeballs what? almost pop out of his fucking head here. By the He's way, not. yes, he cuts his own hair. His dad. You guys are making me Dude, he's like 32 years old here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think living that's in right. his childhood bedroom. Yep. Yep. In his parents in his parents' fucking house. He's calling his dad boy. 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 And boy. his dad is too like dude, my dad would have beat my his dad's too old to do anything about it, is what's going on here. No, my I know, dad I know. His, his I never talked to my dad that way because my dad would have kicked my ass. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. You fight my family. Look at this shit. I swear to God, you guys. I'm going to get you back for this, Chris. I'm going to fucking get you back for this. You understand, you son of a bitch. Who He's blaming Chris. It's like, no. It's not the troll in your chat. It's you. No. You're an no. asshole. Yep. You are an absolute piece of shit. And they all hate you because you say shit like the thing I played earlier. Gross. My computer Gross. taken away. I'll get it back. Don't worry. I'll get it back, motherfucker. I'll get it back, motherfucker. This is the this is the unhinged part right here. Dude, his eye like goes to like the depth of what the bones in his face will hold it in. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Sick of this goddamn shit. I'm a cool ass man, motherfucker. God damn it. I'm a real I'm a man. man. I'm a man. I'm a real man. I'm a man. Yes, I am. I yes, I am. I don't need this goddamn shit. <laughs> you motherfucker, Chris, listen to me, you piece of shit. I will have the last laugh with you. I will fucking have the last laugh. You may have fucking ruined my family, but I'm going to find out where you live, and I'm going to fucking end your life. You understand that, Chris? I'm going to fucking end your life. And he's about to threaten to murder someone here. Your sad life, man. Right. This isn't over yet, bro. I'm going to fucking end you, Chris. I know your name. It's Christian Thurston, and I'm coming looking for you, Christian. I'm coming looking for you, Christian. I'm going to fucking end your life. You understand that? I'm going to end your sorry fucking... 
I'm gonna switch you to the Christ! I'm gonna send you! 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 <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what a piece of shit. Yeah. What a nasty, disgusting piece of shit. Yes. So, one more time, YouTube yeah. needs to. For some reason, with YouTube, it's like democratic. Please flag the fuck out of this piece of shit. Yeah, no, dude, please, absolutely flag the fuck out of Jared Jettison. He thought this was my house in like here. It's not, but he thinks it is. Intent matters. Also, who's gonna uh, show up? Like, by the way, like the stream, like the stream. Thank you. Please like like it. I like how he's. He thinks he has people that's willing to like show up to my house and do something. You're so fucking dumb. You fucking melon-headed piece of shit. No, no, that's not gonna happen. That is not even. How long is it? Really, you're gonna ask that? Uh, It's like a couple clicks. It's like. You click the flag and then you click like what it is. It's harassment or like personal information. It like you you just pick what it is. It's not <laughs> long. It's like two clicks. I'll be right back. My bladder it's- is like at capacity. Oh no. He put me in charge again. I'm so drunk. I'm so tired. <sighs> Guys, I don't know what I can tell you right now. Um, yeah. Do a fart. Uh, I don't think I need a fart right now, actually. I'm feeling pretty good. I feel all right. Although I will tell you that last night, last night, uh, I did have quite bad gas. And uh, so while I was getting all nestled up in bed and uh, Mems was still awake and I was like, it's cool. We're in bed. And then I had the farts and I went. Like, it's cool. It's totally fine. I'm laying there and I'm like making eye contact with my wife. And then it starts seeping around my neck and getting into my nose, and I'm like, <laughs> and we had a, a quite a bit of fun uh, laughing because I um, chemical gas attacked uh, myself in bed last night. It was very difficult. So, I don't know. Is what it is. I'm a sweet boy. I feel like I'm a pretty sweet boy. I don't think I'm a bad guy. I feel like I'm. Um, I feel like I'm on pretty much the level, as much of uh, the level as I could possibly be. I am very fucking tired, though. Yeah, we'll wrap it soon. I've got some other it, shit. I um. It, man, I'm so sleepy. I'm so sleepy. I do. Did I, you say like, you're so horny, Ben? I'm so horny. No, no, no. I no, love no. you I, long time. I I want to hear more about Shani and Rev like fighting, but I kind of want to save it for Monday because like that video is okay. King nuts. We can we can get back into uh, it. I I do have to play a video of T Bob. He's challenging me. Did you hear about this? No, I didn't hear about this. You should All play right. it. All right. Uh, Before I throw up, because I might throw up. You throw up? Oh God! I might um, throw up. Okay, maybe we should do that instead. That's what I. What I, I should throw up? Yeah. On instead camera. T- no, dude. Fuck you. <laughs> and fucking suck my fucking dick. It's not long enough, baby. Uh, here's, uh, it, it can't reach here. Um, here's, um, here's T-Bob calling out me and Scott. I'd love to see it, but I can't see anything right now. Oh shit. Hold on. My bad. Yeah, I know. I know we're drunk. Calm down. Calm down. 
Uh, here it is. Here it is. Don't I need enough money for me to get a plane ticket to the state of Washington, the Puget Sound area, where Ben is at right now, and we can invite Scott, Scooter, whatever the fuck is. Yeah, there's a fight between Bob. Are you about to puke? Seriously? There's a fight between Scott and Bob Brewing. Wouldn't you pay to see that? I mean, I'd attend. Yeah, wouldn't that be... I mean, Bob might die during that during that fight, dude. <laughs> he might. That's enough, that's enough reason for me to show dude, up. Dude, I, uh, I'll i go for a little bit longer. If you got to go, it's cool, dude. I, I can tell you don't feel good. I don't. I don't. I don't feel great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's fine, feel, dude. Feel, Thank you for up. showing up and hanging out. All right. All right. All right. Good all right. night, dude. We'll we'll, we'll see Love you DB next time. Fan. Love you, DB. Love fan. you, man. Ready? All right. All right. So Jeff had to bow out. Um. Name is to meet me there. And I will beat his fucking ass. You will not, Bob. You will not beat his ass. He's way younger than you. He's bigger than you. Uh, he's tougher than you. You will not beat his ass. Dude, that would be amazing. Dude, I, can we make this happen? Can we make Bob fight Scott? <laughs> I mean, it won't last very long. It really won't last very long. Scott will beat the shit out of Bob. Bob is a little old sickly man. It it would not do it would not be well. I think Scott might feel bad about it. He's like five foot five or five foot six, something like that. He is a and Scott's probably like six feet, something like that. Taller than me. Um and he's a strong guy. He's not like, a, I'll tell you what, the one thing, uh, I went to Top Golf with Scott and he could f hit a fucking golf ball 300 yards. He could hit a, a golf ball 300 yards in one like six stroke. And I was like, oh my God. And and that takes some strength. I'm not saying that means you're a good fighter, but he probably is. Actually, Scott had a shoot fight with this guy who called him out online who said he was a fake pro wrestler and he shoot they they made a rule where like they couldn't throw strikes so he just kept like strangling him but Scott won the whole thing every time fucking pussy he's a fake fraud hiding behind a fucking internet screen it's not a fake screen dude and I'll beat Ben's fucking ass just for the hell of it. Just give me the fucking plane ticket money to get there. Nope, nope. Buy it yourself. I love how that's his out. I'll take care of the rest. The Drunken Peasants is a, 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 a far-reaching left-wing podcast. Always has been. But you gave us a five out of five review, Bob. I always have been. You motherfuckers ain't for the people. They're only for the. That should be the name of their fucking live stream, not the drunken peasants. They should be suckers of Canada. Yeah, he accuses me of like taking money from Canada. I challenge Scooter, Scott, and Ben and Billy to the Trump to Bob butthole challenge. No. I don't want your gay ass to look at my butthole and get aroused by it, Bob. Because I know they'll lose that fucking challenge. They're all with blown out buttholes. Uh, some of you might refer to them as. Yeah, Steven, uh, you're way behind on that. I literally just asked everyone to flag it. And it's not my home address. I have a business address for pieces of shit like Jared who will dox the address when I do a DMCA counter notification. I have a business address.
He's a fucking moron, and everyone should flag him to get that fucking pedo off YouTube. A, a, a fucking totally stupid piece of shit gave him, paid for him to get 1,000 subscribers because he thought he would stream, and he didn't. Because his dad, because he's grounded from streaming, even though he's 40 years old, and he's been flagging down all my videos for laughing at his fucking hilarious clown ass, and now he's trying to dox me thinking he's winning. It's not my home address, Jared, but it's still against YouTube guidelines to release my address. So I would ask again, I played the video for you guys. You know, this dude's a pedo. He's a pedo. He is Pinocchio's creator, Geppetto. Please go to this post. And if you like to send me some mail, you can do that too. The address is right there. Please go there and flag it and get this fucking piece of shit. You might not be the biggest fan of me or the show or whatever. It doesn't matter. We all agree Jared should not be on YouTube. And I'll tell you what, once he gets terminated, I'm going to keep in touch with my friends at YouTube because I do know people who actually work at YouTube. And I'm going to tell them every time he makes a new channel. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be very vigilant. Vigilant. Yeah, villagent. I said villagent like the villagent Christian. I've been drinking. Sorry. I realized that sounded dumb. Hey, look. There goes over there walking through the mall looking at women's pink dresses. That's the that was what Jim asked did when uh, when we had the villagent Christian on an episode. He's like, I want to talk to the villagent Christian. The kind of guys that the drunken peasants are. Bitches. And Ben wouldn't stand a chance against me. I wouldn't. Well, I'll tell you what. Once you're done with Scott, since that's so easy, I'll take you on after, Bob. I don't care if he's six foot two. I beat I'm not. his fucking ass in. I'm still like three or four inches taller than you, though, which is kind of sad because I'm not tall. He ain't nothing but a candy ass. <laughs> and he panders to the left. Have you ever noticed that? He always caves into the gate. Canadians. The Canadians. And that fucking gay ass scooter he's got on his channel is a bitch. He couldn't fucking stand up to a man in America to save his life, and he damn sure can't whoop me. He literally comes to America once a month. He is. I will fuck him up. All right, let's let's play a little more. And I'm calling all, all drunken peasants, enthusiasts, and fans. This is not just me. It's all of you. Okay. I'm saying that every fucking one of them have a blown out butthole. All of you. So I went beyond accusing the curator of that fucking fat Canadian show. We're, we're a Canadian show now. <laughs> Of being a fag, and Ben is a fucking with a blown out butthole. That's a fact. Otherwise, he would have shown his butthole three oh. years ago. Yeah, if I wasn't gay, I would have shown my butthole years ago. Five years ago, seven years ago. But he won't do it because, well, he's gay. And he blows whichever way the wind fucking takes him. I mean, well, that's true, right? I mean, if I had enough money and I, and I threw money at him, I could go on his live stream and own that fucking live stream. In fact, if I wanted Ben to suck my fucking <laughs> while I was on his live stream, he would do it. 
if I had more money than the Canadians to blow on a fucking show. In fact, I could do a live stream with Ben MP sucking my foot. Bob. Thank you. Thank you, Goose Juice. Any way we can get to 25% of the goal before this show ends, I know you can do it. I know you're out there. Fuck you. Because he's that kind of. He'll suck any. Gives him the most money that tells him he's got to suck at fucking. Pretty simple. So since I know this to be a fact, and it is a fact, trust me, it is a fact beyond fact. Ben is a. F huh? Therefore, right. his fans. All of them have to be gay homosexuals with a blown out fucking butthole. Pretty simple. Wow. Pretty simple though, right? Isn't that true, guys? Let us let us know. I still respect Bob more than Jared. Sorry, just taking care of something. Here's Bob with a wine review. Franzia Chillable Red is by far the best of all of the cheap wines. Nothing compares to this. Heart. Wow, his chewing wine. Oh, yeah. This wine you can buy at your local Walmart. It's very bold and robust. It tastes as though if you were to put a cherry in your mouth huh? and a couple of rose petals, some rose, and chewed on that for a little while. Very, very good wine. Jesus, man, I only have one, one coffee cup of this stuff. And I got a hell of a good buzz. Hell yeah. I'm drinking some Franza or Franzia Chillable Red you buy at Walmart. It's the best cheap wine on the, on the shelves today. There ain't, there ain't no other wine really compares, I don't think. I mean, I, I drink a few good ones, but this is a good one. It was it was like weird porno music. That Bob, what a lovable scamp. What is this? Oh, did you see this? Someone made Sturgis into like an old school like Jack Kirby style comic book with all the creases in it and everything. It's beautiful. And his eyes are tilted too. 
That's hilarious, right? I think we had an amazing show tonight, everybody. And I thank you all for showing up. I appreciate it. We had a great night, and we'll be back again on Monday. Uh, In between now and then, you should check out my other channel, The Altered Perspective, because I will be streaming there tomorrow, uh, streaming some other similar kind of stuff. Um, Let me, what is it? Let me give you, there it is. I'm going to post it in the chat. Hey, if you want to see a video of me and Jeff Holiday drunk as shit in Portland, uh, you should you should check out the link down in the chat. $25 plus patrons are getting it early, early access. Also, subscribe to that channel right there in the chat. You guys are great. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for supporting everybody. We will have an amazing night. See you next time, everybody.